selected. Initiating drone connection. Hey guys, hey, this is Vaporware. Um, I'm uh, Juan Connor, otherwise known as Romero. To the left, I have Lewis, and right, I have Daniel, who's going to be playing some Brutal Doom. And also, we have some really cool guests today, uh, both Ellen, Roxana. And Alan, they're, what's Roxana? Uh, Alan and Roxana, and they're both <laughs> 90s gamers just like us. So uh, today we're going to talk about stuff like, uh, I don't know, what are we going to talk about? Uh, let's see here. We got on the list the, the ESRB ratings and whether or not they should be followed. And if they're actually even important, what do you guys think? Do you think uh, uh, parents uh, should follow the, the ESRB ratings that, that we have set on these games? They're just suggestions. Exactly. Um, what about you guys? Yeah, I'd go for that for now. It's somewhat of a suggestion. Um, sometimes it's relevant, but a lot of the times I think they put higher uh, ratings, such as teen or mature, on things that aren't necessary. But it's, it's all a matter of what game it is, I think. Well, like what? Well, what about a game like Doom, you know? That's a game like end. Doom, I don't know about murdering pixels, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then again, when you rip it in half and the organs come out, that's... Um, it's a little bit much for somebody really young, mm -hmm. but I think at a certain point when a kid gets to be like 10 or 12, especially nowadays when mm -hmm. they have full access to the internet, yeah. even if you well, make a rating such as like mature on a game, they're going to find a way to get to it and play it. Here, here's, no. a, here's a, a fun fact though, Doom never got a rating. You know, back when Mortal Kombat, all these other games were, you know, being uh, really? you know, uh, on witch hunt with them, Doom never got a rating because... They were never even part of the whole uh, Senate hearing uh, panel because uh, uh, the game was never sold in stores. They, they never solicited it to kids. I mean, it's huh. something that you had to download it to share with. Them. Sure. So that's so, why they got away with everything. <laughs> yeah. So was it was never even advertised? It wasn't. No. It's like I think you had to, you know. You had to download it. You had to download it. It was never like I think. Well, I obviously magazines would talk about it, mm. but it was. You, you cannot go to Toys R Us or a computer store and buy a, a copy of Doom. Uh, was, was it free or was it something you just bought off the, 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 the first episode was free and you downloaded it. Then after that, if you want the other two, you, you had to buy them and download them. I, I, just, that I, think, oh, sorry. Well, I think that's different. If, so, if there's something free online that you can get to, I mean, as far as ratings go, you're not going to want to rate something like that just because any, literally anybody can get to it. What's, yeah. what's the point? You're going to throw up a firewall to block the game? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, you're not going to be able to stop it. I think there's a difference, though. For me, I get a little more kind of weary when there is... Rather than violence being the thing to steer kids away from, when there's, like, graphic nudity or, like... Mature content, sure. Yeah, or, like, rape scenes or anything like that, mm -hmm. I start to get a little bit hesitant to want... Kids, children yeah, to because play, I feel like play these games. that might have more of an impact on kids rather than violence, which they could turn to a new, like, news channel and see and which their parents see mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Well, it, it depends what, you know, I think you're, you're right about the graphic uh, scenes, but like we said, we were discussing earlier, we played uh, a game like uh, Duke Nukem 3D, where, mm -hmm. you know, they you know, show the women's tatas. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> different, I guess, so, but I guess... Yeah, even PG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think though, it's just like uh, uh, the the you know if, if it's if if it's gonna be something difficult for a parent to talk about to the kids, yeah. then I think it should be you know under that rating system because we mm -hmm. like I was uh, one time uh, uh, I was watching my brother play Grand Theft Auto Five, and there was like a whole torture scene where you yeah. had to do it, right. And I'm just like you know even I I love Grand Theft Auto, yeah. but when I saw that I was just like. And I even I felt uneasy about it. It's yeah, like necessary. Well, that, 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 oh, I was gonna say that, that was my whole thing about that. Like you know, um, normally I wouldn't quite disagree with uh, the whole you know the whole you know these like kids I should say rather like like teenagers playing like M rated games because the reality of it is. Oh, you shit. play violent video. <laughs> you play violent. <laughs> you broke the game handle. Uh, <laughs> Now you like we play you know kids play violent video games all the time you know yeah. like, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of teen games out there that like you know sometimes like wow you know, that's actually loud in the game mm -hmm. um, but you know I was playing through uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto Five and there were some moments in which I was just like really just like wow did they actually 
throw that in there. You mentioned the torture scene. Mm -hmm. There's also the uh, um, the you know the, the part where you have to go to the strip the strip bar, mm -hmm. and then you can like pay for like lap dances, and they're like, full on topless lap dances. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, like like because my nephews played the game, I'm thinking yeah. like they're gonna there's gonna be you know there's gonna be a point where they're gonna get to that portion of the game, mm -hmm. and they are going to encounter that. That's not even like yeah. an off. The uh, off the beaten path sort of thing. That's something yeah. that happens yeah. within the game itself. Or having a quest that you have to do that. You have to go in there and do that with um, I can't remember yeah. the character's name yeah. at this point. But I but think even in like right. even in uh, Grand Theft Auto Four, yeah. where you're playing as Nico and you're doing all those sort of things, it's all violent and everything. But there's also parts where you hire yeah, a hooker yeah. or mm -hmm. you know you just you go into a, uh, literally a club and shoot everybody up before <laughs> you finally you know get get to where you're supposed to go. And, yeah, it's things like that. But then again, those games are specifically meant to have that type of stuff. It's sure. supposed to be, yeah. you know, overly graphic. It's supposed to just have you, like, murdering people and just, you know, stealing cars. And it, it's very cartoonish. So is the question whether kids should have access to video games like this or if... Well, I there think, is um, a time when it's like too soon for them to see something. I don't know. I, you know, it, it falls on the parents. It's it's all about uh, you know good parenting and bad parenting. And I think Grand Theft Auto is one of those games where I would agree that yeah, you should probably not have your kids playing that. Or if you're going to be driving pretty soon, you probably shouldn't be playing that because yeah. you might mimic it. Uh, I know that from personal experience. Uh, but you know, overall, I think there are specific games that should be. Uh, kept from kids up to a certain age, and some that it's just it's not necessary to, yeah. mm -hmm. so to hold that back. You guys think that it's that it does sort of um, impact children to be playing games, like that it affects their psyche in a certain way? Do you guys remember video games affecting your psyche in that way? Not really. I think as a kid, it was more of a stress relief. Yeah. It was. Um, it was an escape. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to figure out whether you know. In, to to be honest, like the graphics. I don't know, like, I, I yeah. feel like the graphics has something to do with it too, because, mm -hmm. like, you know, you played a game like this, and it was just kind of like... Not to mention the fact that I don't remember there really being too many games where they showed, like, as graphic of content as they do nowadays. Yeah, no, well, they're actually, in, in the day, they, there were games like that, except for they were, like, behind the counter. Or they yeah, were, like, of course, restricted. and basically yeah. that's porn at that point, which yeah. is... <laughs> like something that I didn't have access to. But but to. Well, like yeah, but like to, to openly be able to like buy and everything like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, like that. something that's like marketed towards people who play video games, which includes mainly kids. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's not marketed to it, but you know, there's commercials on it you know, on TV for it. So and kids do watch that stuff. And ultimately, I think it's just it's really the parents. I yeah. Mean, the the ratings there are are suggestions, and if you're a good parent, you know, you may heed them, or you may want to do more research on the game. But if you could care less, you just buy whatever game you want. And <laughs> yeah. Because you know, I've encountered a lot of moms who, um, their kids are like really big fans of Grand Theft Auto mm -hmm. or like even just TV shows that are pretty graphic in nature. Mm -hmm. yeah. And But these moms are generally moms that are very close to their kids and are able to talk to them about well, yeah, that's how good. this can affect them and yeah. stuff like that. But there's other ones that like, oh here, here Junior, play Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah, one. and then they leave them alone for ten hours. Yeah, yeah. and not only that, not only is it the the crumbs that they have to that they they go through, but they play it online. Then they have to hear all this other True. bullshit on there, and there's all like you know, online bullying, and people and, cursing at each other, yeah, saying stuff that like, they. Yeah, see, that's where I have an opinion on that. Is what okay. online play. Anybody can go on there anonymously or not anonymously and just say whatever they want to, yeah. and it's because there's no accountability. I mean, you can get you can get um, banned from from a chat room or you can get like you know, kicked off the game. Going into some you can just, territory right now. But you can just okay, we started, please. <laughs> but yeah, you can yeah. just but go ahead, go ahead. You can just create another account or something and just start uh -huh. up the game again or get a new you know wait like 30 minutes and then you can hop back on. Yeah, it's for that. Kids shouldn't have access to that or be allowed to, you know, like curse at people or call people names they don't even necessarily understand at that age. They yeah. just say it because they think it's cool. And they're yeah. Upset. That's how Good I point. Mm -hmm. Dude, my first curse word was tell, and even that felt like a big song. Oh, man. I, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> so I can only imagine these kids, like, with the freedom to talk to people that are twice their age, three times their age. It's a little bit creepy. Yeah. But then, you know, it's, then it gets all really stupid, you know, with kids. 
you know, you, you have an eight year old you're talking to, and then you have a, a man child that's like, what, 22 or something. Just yeah. like, yeah, can stop just, anything. It's just totally like wailing on these kids, Predatory. you know? Yeah. And I was just like, fuck, dude. It's like, yeah. And these people don't know any better. All they know is that they're, they're fighting an avatar, you yeah. know? But, yeah. I think it turns into, a, I think that turns into like, um, Gosh. Violent games today versus yesterday, then because yeah, obviously we didn't have those uh, all, all those possibilities back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the most part, you were either playing with a group of friends through like a LAN party, or you were just kind of you know playing alone like single player. Um, and I, to that end, I think that there was a there was a bigger deal about it yesterday, you know, because you know like it, with uh, the difference. Um, uh, you know, like the different court hearings with, you know, Mortal Kombat, uh, well, I, you know, things, I, things like that. Um, I, I think I, I believe Doom even got. Did Doom get like? It was uh, part of the did hearing, Doom go to court? But, but it was part yeah. of the hearing, but it got dismissed though. Okay, all right, because what, because what it wasn't was because they didn't sell it. Well, they, but, yeah, essentially they, yeah. they didn't like offer it. Mortal Kombat was like when it came out, like at Super Nintendo or something like that. Uh, it, it, Mortal Kombat was available at the arcade, uh, you know, at Dolphland or at places like amusement parks, yeah. right? Yeah, but well, they don't that kids go. Right? They didn't have as much blood and everything in there. It no, the blood. arcade one was all fully violent. You know? Really? Was I thought it was just, they dumped it down for this console. Or? The, the Super Nintendo they dumped it down for. Yeah. So okay. were, were the court hearings were they blaming like? Real violence on these games or something? Well, yeah, they were or trying. Or, they, it was there were stretches. They, they, yeah, they, yeah, it was definitely a stretch. They were trying it, to it find brand new thing. correlations between uh, children being more violent mm -hmm. uh, and and playing these video games. Like you know, yeah, it's not true. No, no, it's, no, it's no. Not not true. True. Like well, yeah, games it's, like Night Trap. You know, like uh, it was okay. like re really Night Trap. The acting in there is worse than porn. No, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 Night Trap is horrible. But I mean, you know, like. Um, I know, like the um, these score hearings tried to kind of uh, uh, place, you know, throw Night Trap under the boat by saying, you know, oh, like this, it shows all this violent imagery, and, and it did. It actually did. You know, like it just. Um, I don't think it should have been as big of a deal um, yesterday as it is kind of um, as it is today. I mean, not to say that. I think that games should go back to court hearings and everything like that. No, 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 no it's already regulated, you know. Yeah, but I mean, or they tried to. I I don't know. I just Man, this game is just lagging. Yeah. Well, it's lagging on the monitor, but he's playing for a while. Yeah. yeah. Now, what, uh, what do you think, Daniel? What do you think about the violence in video games? You know what? As he as he, as he he's like, well, you might turn off fine. Are, are, <laughs> are you feeling like you're going to murder us all right now? No. Well, no, you know, the, to right. tell you the truth, though, this is the first game I played that I really loved. And yeah. uh, and I was only six or seven when I started. Oh, it wasn't this brutal, though. Dude, it was bad enough. This this is just extra blood surprise. Yeah. Well. I mean, I understood what was going on prior. I mean, I'm, I'm, I was more into a... Uh, oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I heard them. Uh... No, I, mean, I really don't really mind because this is what I played when I was. It was just a pastime for me, and I just fucking loved it. Yeah. No, I was more into the, the the hell scenery more than it was the, the violence. Question though, when there are games that have like a pretty in depth storyline where people do get a little bit more emotionally invested, mm -hmm. do you think that has the potential to 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 be worse for kids? Like, if it is mm -hmm. based on a really violent. Mm, I don't thing. think so. Uh, do I, the only reason is, I, as a kid, I played uh, a point and click adventure game called uh, Gabriel Knight. Mm. I played both the first one, the sequel, and the third one. And these, these games were just scary games, as hell. But they were made for adults. <laughs> but I played them and uh, I, I enjoyed them. And they had adult things in them. But for me, it was just like, oh, look, it, for me, it, it was a really intriguing story that you got yeah. invested into it. Mm. But never, you know, there's like a sex scene in one of them. It, 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 it's not explicit, but it's implied. Uh, there's more violence and, and you know, like cult, you know, killings and stuff like that, like what you see in, uh, in True Blood and stuff like that. Yeah. All in this video game, and not for once was I uh, like, did it affect me emotionally? Yeah. Matter of fact, I still remember them today because I loved them so much. Because me and that was what stemmed our <coughs> conversation was based like. Um 
The Walking Dead game? Yeah. Was, because that is a little more story-based than, is. like, let's say, like, a game like this. Yeah, it, and you have to I make was, a, lot of t- yeah. a lot of tough choices. And I was wondering whether my brother of, at the time, probably, like, 10 or 9, should play a game like that. Because he was really, I mean, all the kids were playing it. And sure. my mom uh, ended up not letting him until, I think, this year. But... I would, uh, it's kind of a weird thing to decide whether your kid should play a game that lets you determine it's, the life or death of a scenario that they don't even understand potentially. Well, I think it's especially sensitive since all of his buddies were playing it and mm-hmm. he couldn't and he's hearing yeah. about it. Yeah. You know, you have things like the internet right now where you're constantly seeing forums about the games or mm-hmm. seeing like, you know, reviews and things like that. You, the, the lines of communications are, uh, the lines of communication are a lot more open so he's you know, like, all this is bypassing him, and he's sitting at home not being able to play it. I mean, like, I guess, I, yeah, that was the big question. Do you just give in and, you know, let your let, let your, your your 10-year-old play, like, this this violent game about making, like, really tough life decisions? Or maybe he needs uh, to get better friends, that's all. Right. <laughs> and, <I don't> <laughs> well, <laughs> for an unprecedented amount of time, like, I don't know how much my parents are going to stop him uh, from playing, like, for the entirety of the day, or maybe that, he would just uh, do a game like Call of Duty, and I, then he's yeah. just playing... Non-stop violence. Yeah. I, I think I think oh, a lot of it is peer pressure. Yeah. Um, the the games that I uh, uh, I, I identified with and the ones that uh, Daniel talked about, like Doom, mm-hmm. when we played them, nobody was playing those. Games. No, yeah. like, all the popular kids weren't playing. We discovered those games. They were our identity. They were like, hey man, this is. They I were, feel good. I feel cool. I feel exclusive by playing these games. Yeah, they were like I, 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 I was in felt. Pressure kind of. I, I remember um, walking into the computer lab and seeing someone playing Doom mm-hmm. back in a, um, what was it, a, um, yeah. mi- middle school, I believe. Yeah. And I was just like, I was watching, I was like, wow, you guys are playing Doom, this, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. How do you get on there? It's like, oh, here, I'll show you. And so, you know, it, it was, it, yeah, you're right. It was it was cool to, uh, um, to like these games. So a lot of it was that pure pressure. Um, well, for you, not for me, but anyways. Well, I, well yeah, for, 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 for me, it was like, oh man, this is, this is kind of neat. To be completely honest, like Doom never stuck. I was more of a platformer guy, uh, <laughs> but yeah. but uh, speaking of platformers, uh, uh, with your little brother, r- remove the Walking Dead and, and Call of Duty. What if it, all of his playing, uh, all his friends were playing Super, Super Smash Bros. I know. That's yeah, it. Okay. You know, well, obviously I, yeah. it's okay, you know, but still, you know. Yeah. It's um, more removed from reality. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, it, even it's, some, yeah. it's violent in a sense, but in, like, you don't. There's no blood. There's no decapitation. Well, there's yeah, no it's not graphic. Stuff. It's just a bunch of characters that you know that you know. They show some moves. Yeah. It's not about like how much. You know how much can I beat the crap out of Mario? It's more yeah. about like oh, well, for me it is what. Uh, how much, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, how much, what, what can Fox do? What can yeah. you know, yeah. like Kirby do? The, the thing is, or how the, much could uh, how much damage could a uh, sheep do to uh, Samus? Yeah. If you have cable, oh, yeah. for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if you have cable, <laughs> some of us have blood loss. <laughs> <laughs> it is confusing though because when even like adults, when I've uh, seen some of the reactions to these competitive games. It is intense, and I wonder what type of effect it can have on a kid, because even with movies, I've read studies that have said, like, people come out of it more aggressive, and yeah. in the long term, I honestly don't think that it has any impact well, on kids. I, and kids are really impressionable. Yeah, yeah they are, mm-hmm. and if it even has an effect on adults, they're supposed to be of sound mind. <laughs> no, 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 there's, there's a lot of immature adults. adults and that's there. and that's yeah. even with games like Marvel vs. Capcom, which I've experienced mm-hmm. oh, adults God. doing very weird things. Like after anger. Hey, yeah, yeah, I, I I'll, myself I'll, get really angry too. Yeah, well, all you gotta say is like, hey, you want a street fight for real? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm more than willing to do that. Yeah. But, but you know, going back to the Walking Dead thing, I mean, the, the, the show is just as bad. And it's available there for if you have cable, you can just tune into it. Too. Oh yeah! If you want to talk about bad shows, Game of Thrones, no kid should be watching that. I don't right? know. Yeah. No kid should be watching it. I can't. I can't everything. watch it. I, I can't watch it because I, I just can't it, stand it. It hurts my soul. <laughs> Put it on record. I love the show, but I understand why people don't. Oh, like, there's man. so yeah. many things in there that are just so cringeworthy. Yeah, but kids can pick it up. They they, they have. Uh, 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 McFarlane has uh, building block uh, sets of uh, Game of Thrones. And they make action figures. Well, granted, the action figures are not for kids anymore. Yeah. But they have build, building sets and all that. So, And there's books. You know, I think uh, someone, uh, a 10 year old that has a higher level, uh, could pick yeah. up the books and read them too. I think maybe just the, the reason why it is a controversial topic is because it, kids have so much access to it. Because back in the day, like, 
I don't know. The you, amount you, that gets put out nowadays yeah. is excessive. Yeah. And so it becomes more and more a part of their life than it used to with, be, I think. With the yes, no, exactly. With the internet, it's it's obviously things are a lot easier to get. They're a lot. It's a lot easier to watch YouTube. You can just oh, pop yeah. up a YouTube video and, like that. And people want it at every second of every. Yes. Day. Yeah. And yeah. You, you literally yeah. have it at your fingertips with yeah. with your phones. You know, like back you know back then, it, it was a lot. It was it was more um, easily regulated, I guess, um, and therefore I don't think had. <laughs> as big an impact on on uh, on youth today as it did, sorry, is on youth yesterday as it does today. Maybe you know because it's just like you know we live in a generation where you can get anything instantly. Yeah, yeah. Um, gaming is the way to go nowadays. Like it's it's yeah. grown so much that that's what every kid is doing. Mm -hmm. And I guess it poses the question even further simply because people are vir like living their life virtually almost for the majority of it now. So yeah. if you are doing this, that's your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you're either you know playing a video game or you're on your phone or you're on a social network or whatever. You know, Everything is virtual. Yep. That's the reality. People aren't going like a co-worker of mine who I'm not a big fan of but I mean he has a point he, kids don't go out and play as much as they did before they don't oh, it's dangerous out there right there yeah. <laughs> it's dangerous out there too yeah. 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 well he's 60 so uh, <laughs> he's talking about when he was a kid and he would always be out on his bike and oh yeah you know, play know, you probably come home at 11pm and not get like hurt or anything yeah, yeah but nowadays it's just like you're gonna get mugged I don't yeah, know yeah get mugged or worse taken well, well, or taken or yeah taken yeah to, to, to that end, I think that a lot of imagination, like uh, I think a lot of uh, imagination in children isn't isn't as strong as it used to be. Yes, yeah. there you know there was uh, um, there was uh, just, just going deep in a limit. Yeah, a <laughs> oh god! <laughs> wow. Yeah, the, no, the, <laughs> um, there was a limitation to uh, to. The graphics, you know, there's a limitation to um, what you can do in games. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a limitation to uh, technology, so you didn't have uh, a whole lot of options um, in that particular case. But, you know, like, so we used to, like, play pretend a lot. We used to go outside a lot more. Those, those mm -hmm. were always alternative. Like Even, numbers. like, reading a book, too. Like, <laughs> you have to yeah. have imagination to do that as well. And nowadays, it's more... The book everything reaching. is just put out there for yeah. you. Yeah. You don't have to imagine it because it's literally yeah. told to you already. Yeah. Yeah. The interesting thing when you mentioned that the kids don't have much imagination anymore got me thinking on the fact that everybody keeps making, uh, like, remaking movies, and I yeah. feel like it maybe stems also from that same thing where. Yeah, well, well you know, let's blame. Uh, even we, adults. We could start blaming Disney on that one. Everybody, uh -huh. everybody just blame Disney. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. Well, the, the, the Marvel movies are cookie cookie cutter, man, but <laughs> stop that, buying everything I love, Disney. Yeah, that's 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 like a whole new subject right there. Yeah. Um, I, I, I do want to I do want to uh, mention something though. Um, the other day I was at the gym and uh, I was watching the View. They had the, the, the show on there. Uh, <laughs> a monitor. Anyways, they had Ice Cube on there, and he was discussing his new album. Well, yeah, he, yeah, he, he was discussing his new album, right? And how, you know, he was still, you know, talking about how, you know, obviously, you know, when he talked about race and, and relationships with the, you know, police officers and everything. Mm -hmm. And they and I think Whoopi was like, uh, well, I noticed that you use the N-word a lot in your uh, song. So it's like, how do you expect, you know, people to get a guy this and that? And then he made a really good point. Mm -hmm. He said that, you know what, I do use the N-word, right? But just like Arnold kills people in the movies, we know that killing in real life is not Right on. It's not yeah. it's bad. Yeah. And just because I use the N word in my songs doesn't mean it's good to use it in, in society. Yeah. yeah. And just because, you know, kids are playing violent games, I'm hoping yeah. they understand that it's not real in, in real life. But yeah. now you're hearing that, you know, kids are playing like, you know, Call of Duty and stuff like that and now they, they know that a uh, load out of a gun and know how to use it, so well, I don't know that, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know that either. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, maybe that's a stretch. That was a stretch. That's like saying, that's like no, saying but, you play guitar no, you, and you know how to play guitar. You, you know, <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. point, good point, good point. <laughs> but, I, but I like that comparison because, no, you're right. You made a really good point. I feel it, yeah. So I guess, I, 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 I guess it kind of comes down to the individual. I mean, that's, that's what it always comes down to at the end of the day. You know, like, I, you know, my, my hope is that families will 
you know, use the right judgment and kind of read read how their children want to, uh, uh, like... It's a parents, dude. This yeah. It's yeah. all parents. And yeah. there's a lot of shitty ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, pick on anybody, but, you know, if, if you are brought up in a really religious uh, home... Oh, yeah. And whether you're... It's just a matter of your... pick on them. <laughs> no, if you're brought up in a really religious home, like you're Catholic or you're Muslim, and your parents are like, oh, I don't want you to play any of that shit, dude. Especially if you're Catholic, I know this from experience. Not not that I'm Catholic, but other people I know. Dude, those kids grow up to be even worse. Oh yeah, because yeah. they're like, I never got to play these games. Yeah. I never yeah. got to eat sugar. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start when I turn 18, dude. I'm gonna know if I'm gonna. It's true. And then, dude, all of a sudden it's, they have all these vices. It's I was impressive. Like, Everybody that I know who's ever gone to Catholic school has veered in the complete opposite direction. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. for better, sometimes for worse, but. Yeah. So when you suppress a kid from all this stuff, from all these experiences from the world, having yeah. some exposure is, is yeah, good. Yeah, I, I think it's good to have exposure. It's I, like, yeah. I mean, it's like for me, it's like when, when I saw when I played Street Fighter Two or played Doom and all that stuff. It's just like I don't know. I, I play them. It's like for me, it's, it's not it's not a big deal. You know, violence, seeing blood anymore. In real life, it's different. But yeah. when, in movies, I would hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know what I mean, it's just... Yeah. I, no, I, I agree. Um, when I was younger, I think um, games like Mortal Kombat, uh, those were like my first like r like real experiences with like, you know, violent games. I didn't really think too much of it. I was like, oh, it's kind of cool. It's fun. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, but for, uh, not for one second, as a kid, did I ever wish any kind of that violence that I, that I, that I witnessed at, uh, playing games on any video? I don't. But I, I never wished it on any But that was, their, that was there prior to the video, and so I didn't really play yeah, a lot of video games. Yeah. So it's essentially the psyche that already exists within the kid. If, yeah. And if the parents raise him or her to be a certain way. No, and, and that's very true. I think that was like my my thing with the um, with gaming back in the day, and like it, when it was put in, being put under the microscope, you know, people were saying you know games like Mortal Kombat were bad for kids because it makes them more violent, fight each other, and stuff like that. Um, no, it, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't even cut you off. Yeah, there. no, of course. What, what, what? You're talking about Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and Doom. Kids are fighting each other. Remember when Power Rangers came out? Everybody, all the kids in the elementary were kicking the crap out of each other. Yeah. Like all the moves really? that they're sure. trying to yeah. make. And dude, that's a kid show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what does that tell you compared to, to like, uh, you know, writing the video? Well, so. most, most, I mean, pretty much every single comic that you could ever lay your eyes on has violence in it, too. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. violence, nudity, all kinds of things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, like, parents didn't stop kids uh, from buying uh, Spawn comics. Yeah, so, yeah, and essentially, I think... People just get more concerned because the kids are like. Well, I, I also but I also still. think that video games were an easy target because it was so marketable too. And it was new. Yeah. And yeah. it was kind of new. Yeah. Yeah. No. Exactly. I mean. The, you know, like you had all these like really awesome games with like these really uh, crazy graphics, and you know a lot of people were buying them. You know, comics, comics were very like you know niche little things. People kind of like, like I don't know, like c comics. Mm -hmm. Uh. Weren't, weren't that easy to pick on things like video games like where everyone wanted to play you know like, it was a brand new it was a brand new uh, 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 you know technology or a genre and when you enter, when you introduce something brand new like that or like the internet yeah. or like phones like these people get scared of it's technology. true because yeah. I think that even with like porn people see it at a much different light when it's on paper mm -hmm. that's just how they used to yeah so so I think it's just technology that people have a problem with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because, because it's true, like, we don't really know what the effect of it is since it well, hasn't been around as long as literature. Wait, yeah. wait, till, uh, wait till these uh, kids grow up and get older. <laughs> Why? Huh. What's going to happen? I don't know. Well, <laughs> I, 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 I'm depending on, I depend on that on my social that. security. Oh my god. Oh, right. I, I so they better be working. That's not going to exist. That's not going to yeah. We're all going to... Just die. You better work double time. time. Of 90, that big you guys gotta work <laughs> triple time. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I've been working my whole life, but yeah. I finally get that ten dollars an hour that I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm in the wage of ten dollars. Uh, at that point, it's gonna be like forty-two to survive on, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was like, oh, I'm a millionaire. Yeah. Well, that's oh, like fun. barely making it nowadays. You're <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna kill myself. 
Uh, uh, but if you're like, I don't know, it's just when, when things get to forty-two dollars in minimum wage, the, the economy's busted. <laughs> it's about to switch to fifteen around right here. Busted. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, so. and people don't realize you raise the minimum wage, everything else goes up in price. That's uh, just how it goes. Let's not forget that prior to that happening, everything already went up to price to begin with. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but it's just going to keep happening. It's just, gonna, it's just going to give a, it's just going to give employers a good reason to cut hours. Yeah, cut hours, you know, get rid of people that have been loyal to their companies for years and yeah. get new blood that they can pay less. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, hey, welcome nobody's, to the Bay Area. That's, nobody's, that's the Bay Area. Nobody's hopeful about the future. Yeah. Well, you got to be hopeful. You have to. I, I'm you got to keep the hope. Yeah. got to keep the hope. Well, anyway, it's changing gears here. <laughs> yeah. yeah that went on. Let's not Put go into that topic, please. <laughs> yeah. That's a, uh, what's it, GDQ? Or SGDQ? What the hell is that, Lewis? SGDQ. <laughs> Lewis, what's that? Huh, well, let me tell you, friends. SGDQ, no. Um, so, next week, um, 4th of July weekend, that's uh, um, July 2nd, um, marks the uh, kickoff of um, an event called uh, GDQ, or uh, SGDQ, Summer Games Done Quick. Uh, oh, perfect. Yeah, so, if you ever watched a uh, so, someone play a video game like and beat it like extremely fast you know like call, call them mm -hmm. speed runs um yeah that there's gonna be a, an entire week-long marathon of that uh pretty much from from sunday all the way through to uh to saturday evening yeah. um you're gonna have like all these different um uh, all these different gamers mm -hmm. um just playing these video games live Live in front of in front of like everybody and just uh, beating these games as quickly as possible yeah. and it's always entertaining and it's always fun uh, to uh, watch and just to say something, um, Lewis is talking to people that don't know what it is. I'm sure people that are listening. Yeah, to for those that do know, already know, so he's not being patronizing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's um, it's an event that comes around every. It's it's biannual, so it's uh, every. Uh, winter and every summer. Yeah. Hey, just look it up. Google it. Yeah, just check yeah, it out. Yeah, you want more information. But anyway, Game, look, games on quick. So, what, what games are you looking for, uh, or you know, things you're looking forward to? It. Well, well, I'll tell you what. Like, what I find kind of cool about it is, it's it's for charity. It's this is all for charity. Mm, okay. So, like, I encourage everyone that's like watching to jump in and you know, to donate whatever they can because they usually do different charities. Um, Last year they did, um, I believe it was, uh, prevent the yeah it was the Prevent Cancer Foundation, mm -hmm. uh, and they raised two million dollars that year. Holy shit, that's yeah. a lot of games. Two, two million dollars, and they, a mil one million of of that money was made in a day on Saturday. Holy crap! A lot um, of money. I'm, too. Like, you guys remember yeah. that? Um, so that yeah that was yeah that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, like since its inception back in two thousand and ten, it's raised over ten million dollars. So it's really cool. It's yeah, it's it's gaming for a good cause. So if you ever needed a good reason to like, you know, just yeah, you know, sit back and watch you know watch some people play some video games or you know maybe even play some games yourself. You know, AGDQ is the is the thing to is the thing to check out. Um, really awesome. They yeah, and they do different charities too. Like Doctors Without Borders mm -hmm. um, is one of them. Uh, Autism Research was is another one. Um, they had one at one point for the the Japanese uh, earthquake relief. Oh yeah. Back when the tsunami hit, oh, yeah. so it's it's really really awesome uh, cause, and you're just you're watching people beat your favorite games, f you know, as quickly as possible. It, things mm -hmm. things that you didn't really see, like think possible in yeah. in, in these games. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the ga one of the games that I'm what one of the events that I'm looking forward to uh, what's that? is the Mario Relay Race. It's where they have three teams, and mm -hmm. each team alternates. Uh, through, through the Mario game. So one person from each team plays a Mario game, and then once they beat that oh, Mario game, shit. they switch to the next Mario game. <laughs> yeah, that's what Daniel's about. Yeah, it. as you can see, Daniel's not a big AGQ fan. He yeah. doesn't like uh, no. Um, he, he likes to experience a game like this one, not not go run through it. Exactly, exactly. And this, yeah, you know, Doom's one of the games that can be speedrun. Obviously, mm -hmm. I think almost any game can be speedrun. Yeah. Um, even RPGs. But even Metal Gear too, because apparently in that game, all you do is just run to the end of the zone and you finish a level. Well, seeing as like ninety percent of that, those games are cutscenes, I you think just the, press the space bar yeah. or you know, press the X button. Yeah. 
It doesn't always work, though. I think it, it forces you to go through those parts. Yeah. yeah. It's like, come on! Come <laughs> on, do it now! <laughs> yeah. But I just... Uh, but yeah, um... But the, yeah, oh, yeah. I was gonna say like there's a there's a really awesome Donkey Kong Country uh, trilogies uh, relay race oh, yeah. where where they had that's um, like six hours. No, no, it was <laughs> believe it or not, it was only like two hours. <laughs> Still, dude, it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like here, 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 here's, all here's ten games. Uh, all three games. Yeah, oh, I'll watch the first two minutes. Here's ten bucks. All right, have a blast. You know, no, no, <laughs> no I, I watched those all the way through. I mean, again, those. This is for those that are like interested. I'll give you a hundred dollars. You guys just stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, send that hundred dollars to charity. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's cool. You guys check it out. Um, um, you know what? You know what would be really interesting about that, and uh, I, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of ignorant about it, but maybe they do do it. I, you know, maybe people should be like, okay, I'll donate five hundred or a thousand dollars. I get to pick the game, and you have to run through it. Yeah. So they, they and it's a they, random. They, game. they have they have four thousand four thousand dollar. Um, uh, donation they do like for yeah. just from for regular people no no but I'm talking about there should be like a challenge right they they, they, they like like you know they should pick a these gamers should be ready for any game it's just like okay I pick this game so uh, I <laughs> but not everybody's yeah. experiencing all those Omer, games. I, 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 have, I have good news it's for, for charity. you I have good news for you because uh, those those events uh -huh. they, they they do have runners they have uh, donation incentives yeah. where if you donate a certain amount of money uh, the the uh, the uh, the runner mm -hmm. will play those games either blind, with, like literally what? with with a blindfold on. What? Uh, That's not yeah, there like yeah, there is a, a punch out if if y'all know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, those guys are already experienced though. Yeah, but I mean, like a game like Punch Out, like the, well, Symphony of the Night was an incentive to be to play uh, yeah. blindfolded. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen, I, I've, I didn't think it was possible, uh -huh. um, but I saw a person do that in under forty minutes with a blindfold on the entire game. Uh, so I mean, I, don't know, I just I want someone to play a game where they pick the worst character in that game, <laughs> and all the odds are against them, and try to play as fast as he can. Yeah, I mean. For me, that'd be more interesting. That'd be like, holy oh. shit! Not only did he pick the worst character, but he did it this amount of time, and he, you know, kicked ass in the game. Well, I, I, guess, I guess my thing was like, uh, I, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, sorry, I was looking at the game. Well, I was gonna say that there is, uh, they have things like I don't, I don't think, like, I don't think there's a donation to. To have all odds against the players because to be completely <laughs> honest, <laughs> because, yeah, yeah, but to get, because to be completely honest, I think that like a lot of the odds are against the players. Those guys are like you're performing oh, yeah. in front of like and millions of people online, especially I mean, when they're against I, I don't, each yeah. other. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't mean, and I don't mean to devalue their their efforts or, sure. efforts or anything, but yeah. for me as a viewer, it'd be fun. Like, if they could buy all those odds, that would be like fucking amazing. Well, I, I, I've not, seen, not that the odds that they're up against are hard. I've seen to get with, you know. I, I just I, like to torture people. I've seen a person. <laughs> hey, hey, it's my money. I'm doing it. I deserve to torture people. Dance me. I want to throw money on you. Yeah, dance. Yeah. Chain me. <laughs> what share? You want a jester? Wait, do they ever have female gamers? They do. Yeah. Oh, okay, I just not, didn't see not, that. Not, not as common. Okay. Not, 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 not as but, common, it, but uh, in the fighting game community, there's a lot of females. There are, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. so. I still have yet to see one. I would like to. That would be cool. Yeah, um, no, there's there cool. there are definitely a place you want to bring that argument up is in the in the in the, the magic tournaments. Because there's no girls. Yeah. Okay, maybe one that's right, so. like made it to like third place in the one huge tournament. The one. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it's that's another that's Far another and subject. Between. Uh, but yeah, no, the GDQ thing. I mean, it's gonna be cool. It's um, it starts, yeah. it starts uh, July second, uh, ten o'clock. You can catch it on Twitch. Mm -hmm. uh, just search up uh, Summer Games Done Quick or SGDQ two thousand seventeen. Uh, you'll find uh, you'll find a list for it on Google. But yeah, no, it's um, it's fun stuff. I love it. Yeah, it's not for everybody, but. Um, I think one of my favorite runners by far is a uh, is a runner called um, Half Coordinated. He uh, mm -hmm. he's half paralyzed, so he literally plays and beats games with just now, one see, hand. That, for me, that's interesting. Yeah, that's a really cool one with, with one hand. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's and it, it's pretty cool because you know he does a really good job at it too. Yeah. Um. Oh. So no, that, I, I agree. I think that something like that 
that's a great feat. That's that's what I'm talking about. Having all the odds against you. Yeah. I'm trying to finish that game. But like I said, you know, uh, we were talking earlier about I uh, was watching a Duke Nukem 3D uh, a speed run for you know beat the game in 12 minutes, right? And the, the guy took advantage of all the all the all the flaws in the game, so it just became a clipping fest. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's like okay, you know, whatever. You know where all the flaws are, but. At that point, you're just, it's like cheating the game. Yeah, that doesn't and, take it, and You're allowed to do yeah, it, but at the same time, it takes away from the, you know, it takes away from other people to actually play the whole game like Donkey Kong or Mario. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me, like, like, when I was watching a speed run for uh, Final Fantasy VII, and I, it was the first speed run I watched, and it was just for all the glitches. Yeah. And, like, you glitch your way all the way to the end of the game, and for me... Like, you know, yeah, it's cool to learn where all those are, but at the same time, like, I want to see the game all the way through, see somebody Try you know, to beat, do the, beat the yeah. crap out Hopefully of this game. Without, without actually having to, yeah, yeah to, like, watch them just, like, spam the same, yeah. um... It's like their cheat code. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. exploit and, over and over again. And a game like that especially, there's so much story involved with that game, that's the whole purpose of it, I think, mm-hmm. yeah. is to follow this really cool story about these characters, you know, coming from... Nothing oh. and rising to what they became. Yeah. And instead, you're just going from, oh, hey, you know, I'm Cloud. Oh, by the way, I just beat Sephiroth. You know, that's, mm-hmm. that's not really a full experience for me. I mm-hmm. want to see somebody go all the way through. I'm like, oh my god, how did they eat that that quickly? Yeah, well, exactly. It's like, it's, it was like we were talking about how in Mario 64, you know, people are just clipped through the, the levels and just, just get through it. You know? Yeah, they can beat the game in under like 40 minutes. Uh, well, um, they're actually, they are actually going to have. For this particular SGDQ, uh, they will have a Final Fantasy VII run, uh, glitchless. It's an eight-hour. Um, oh yeah, no thing. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so, 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 like so if anyone wants to like lose sleep on, uh, I believe it's uh, Friday uh, night into the morning. That's, yeah. that's if you all have insomnia for all for all uh, forty of you guys out there listening right now. That is useful because insomnia is a horrible disease. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's if anything. I think it's something fun to put on in the background, like while you're, like, you know, like while you're playing like, the game or something. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Like, while you're seeing Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I kind of want to do that. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. That is one long weekend, shit, so. dude. <laughs> Eight hours. <laughs> Not for the entire. Ugh. You just eat while that's happening, and also. Take laxatives? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh boy. Yeah. SGDQ. Check it out. Um, fun stuff. I mean, there's something for everybody there. They all. They have like. <laughs> I've seen someone beat the Flintstone at <laughs> three o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Lewis has no life. Yeah. So <laughs> exactly. Well, you can tell what he does in the middle of the night. So. Exactly. <laughs> I just watched Flintstone speed runs. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? The other cool thing about speedruns is when people really choke at the games. Oh, yeah. oh man. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm sadistic. I'm sorry, but it's, to me, I just get a crack oh. at it. It's really nice, though. When There's going to be plenty of those. Yeah. There's going to be plenty of those. And then they come yeah, there was that Metroid uh, speedrun where... It was the race. One guy, God, yeah, this awesome. one guy was yeah. so far behind the other three players, and you're thinking, oh, there's no way. He's done. And then the other three players all die. Yeah, it was... It so was, he ended up yeah. winning. And then, you know what? It's proven to be true. Whenever I would get cocky... I lose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw a, a collection of a uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, choke uh, choke artists, I guess you could say. Choke yeah. <laughs> artists? And they sound like a whole other topic. <laughs> 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 no, wait, this is a. This is some David Carey and stuff right here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is a profession. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're strictly video games. You know, no. yeah. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Oh, I choke. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like there's this one guy that that, that, that like got cocky, you know. He, he he was about to finish the game and like he fucked up. I think. Yeah. He, Wait, which you game was it? it was, I was like, one of those Zelda ones or something. It's so yeah. fucking satisfying when they get cocky and they lose. Yeah. It's I so know. Satisfying. I, I saw this other guy was playing the Donkey Kong. I forgot which one. It was one for like N64 or something. It's Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, and like basically the guy, you know, you're fighting you're fighting King Kroll in a boxing match, right? And he was already going to get like you know a really high record for for doing it, and all he had to do was just press B, you know, <laughs> as a, as a King Cruel's going to come down it. and attack him. Yeah. Except for he forgets he pressed A, oh, which makes him do a backflip. The nice. B would have made him do an uppercut. Yeah. 
That and like this, King, <laughs> he fucks up, and King Cruel comes down, and this is what you see. Omero's going to do a wind-up punch motion right now. He fucking knocks his ass out. He's uh, <laughs> like, the, you that looks like he's choking, but he got his Well, I once crashed a car because I pushed <laughs> the wrong pedal, so we yeah, all make mistakes. You're not yeah. So yeah, if you are if you want to watch people choke, uh, um... <laughs> Uh, in, uh, I to watch a in video games, <laughs> or either or like else, online, speed <laughs> running, <laughs> and not with a belt around your neck, <laughs> or being choked by somebody else, I recommend checking out yeah. a lot of the SGDQ. Um, <laughs> a lot of the SGDQ runs. Um, no, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. No, it, you know, but it, what's so beautiful about it is you see those. Uh, you, you see those moments of like choking, yeah. and uh, <laughs> you know, and it, it, it's really gratifying when you yeah. when you when you uh, when, you when, when you watch someone choke because you know. Well. Yeah, yeah maybe, 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 like, maybe, maybe you think that it's okay for you to choke. <laughs> choke, uh, choke at the game. Choke, choke at the game. game. Or, no, yeah, 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 not yeah, choke yeah. on anything. Yeah. Or, uh, uh, it really depends leaders. on what you're going to do with that light. Yeah. 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 But <laughs> we're talking about games, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so. so don't choke at your Wiimote. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um... GDQ. Yeah, so check that shit out. Yeah, check it out. That's a little plug for them. I mean, I know we're barely starting out, but hey, who cares? I think it. I think <clears> uh, <throat> it's it's charity. It's awesome. You know, it's it's gaming for a good cause. Definitely, you can like type in messages if you want. You mm-hmm. know. Oh God. It, yeah. Just don't, hey, be, just don't know, be a dick. Yeah, don't <laughs> be a dick. But you know the other fun oh, thing about it is, oh, is watching. I've all seen. The, I've seen some pretty trolly uh, messages. Oh uh, yeah. Be, you, being announced. You've mentioned that that's one of the most interesting parts of it. Sometimes. It is. Mm-hmm. It, it totally is. Um, yeah. Little, little known fact about me. I uh, I do enjoy a good uh, trolling. A good. I do enjoy <laughs> yeah. a good trolling. Um. Um. But the other thing but, yeah. that, that, that's really fun about watching these is sometimes. You know, you have players and, and people that are sitting in the audience are socially inept. Yeah. And I don't know, it's just, I mean, I don't mean to make fun of them, but sometimes they it's kind of, it. you, know, you know, well, who knows, maybe they, they have some kind well, of disorder or something, but still. They shouldn't be a There is a, uh, there is an excuse. <laughs> yeah. for, for all y'all that actually watch um, uh, or follow GDQ, I'm sure you know about uh, Caveman, um, Caveman's uh, to- Toma 2 speed run. Um, huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In, in in that whole thing, you know, like they, you get some you get some cringe people um, that are sitting alongside these speedrunners making their little comments, and sometimes these you know you, you do see these uh, these runners get upset and just like you know like look to the side of them and say, hey, uh, I'd really prefer if you be quiet. You know, that, 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 that was actually that that, that 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 was a that was one of the things that um, this particular speedrunner uh, caveman uh, cave caveman twenty one or something like that. Uh, said said to this other guy yeah. that was on the couch. Uh, he was on the microphone. He was the host basically. And uh, uh, what's funny though is that if I was the host, I would have just continued talking but whispering really annoyingly. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a uh, there was a bunch of donators at the time that were sending in messages saying, "Oh, please, I want the guy on the couch to talk more and kind of get like trying to annoy the runner mm-hmm. and all that stuff." I, I just you know I don't think uh, the the host the guy that was talking yeah. should be sitting right next to the guy. I mean, well, at least it'd be like another couch or something. Yeah, I don't think that shit should even matter, what dude. What difference would that make? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, some people they, might have their bubble. Yeah, you know, I was going to say, they're, yeah. they're literally like two feet behind them, if anything. Mm-hmm. Like, if they're on, they have their own chair, sometimes they're behind mm-hmm. the couch. But, yeah, there's, yeah, there, you, you're going to get cringe, mm-hmm. and you're going to get awesome stuff, yeah. um, you're going to get the boring stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it's all it's all fun. It's all fun. It's, and, it's all for a good cause. And you know, and you, you have a favorite video game, you get to watch. You know, somebody play your favorite. Video and video chances game. are, you will find your favorite video game yeah. there. I mean, even if it's um, Super Mario um, Sunshine. Um, hey, you know, they they, they got they get, Super Mario Sunshine runs are are amongst my favorites. Mm-hmm. I fucking love that. Game. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Any final thoughts, Daniel, on um, GQs or was it GQs? Uh, I mean, other than why is it kind of neat, but man, I'm kind of trying to keep my ammo here, so. <laughs> trying to keep Dan- Daniel's trying to stay alive. Die, so. You know, the appropriate uh, uh, answer would have been, well, can you be please quiet? Or- <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I really prefer if you be quiet. <laughs> like, I'm trying to do something here, so. Uh, something that matters. It's not all about you, okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Nah, it's fun stuff. Yeah, so... No, it's cool. It's not a... I don't know, man. It's a... It, they're, they're, I think the best part, I guess, everybody likes just all the cringy parts, but it's kind of funny that... Yeah. You're kind of dealing with people that just, just stay at home and play these games all the time and probably have a Twitch channel. So, I mean, I can understand why that one caveman dude can... Oh, my God. That huh. one caveman dude can uh, go off on someone. I bet she doesn't really deal with it all day. Yeah. No, you know, they're probably locked up in their rooms doing this stuff. These are usually people yeah. that don't leave. Fucking shit. Huh. And, you know, I'll, I'll put one last point on there. You know, I know a lot of these gamers you know, probably don't, have, don't get out of the house that much or don't have lives. Whatnot. But it's, you know, the positive end on it is like I, what I really like about these speedrunners is that you know they they have something that they're really good at, and if that makes them feel good and that makes them feel happy, then you know more power to them. I think this is a great event for uh, for people that you know find happiness in playing games and being good at something. Because I think a lot of people of us would like to be really good at something. Oh yeah, and be known for it too. That'd be nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Like, that'd be nice if you talent. <laughs> <laughs> there was one game where I could do that with, but unfortunately, mm-hmm. you know, the game I spent the most time on was Oblivion, and still, like, I'm not a master at it. Well, know. but when you were playing it, I mean, you felt you felt like you put in a lot of time, you felt like you learned the game backwards and forward, right? Oh, yeah. That's, what's it? I played that what's solely for game two game straight years. Bus? Desert Bus? Only oh, Desert Bus? Yeah, 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 that should be a speed break right there. How, how many, how many times uh, did, Wait. You, did you beat the game? Or how, how many times? <laughs> I don't think I can count it. <laughs> That's um, horrible. But I did play it. I had s- uh, I over ten fuckers. characters that I had created. In a goddamn um, XD before I kill myself. Like all again. different races, classes. Um, you know, it just... I just wanted to try everything in that game, and I did at one point or another. Just because every single aspect of it was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you know that's something that I really hope to also experience with Skyrim. And I mean, still, as great of a game as it is, yeah, it doesn't have as much of a um, as much in there to hold my attention. Like every single location you can go to has to do with the quest, whereas in Oblivion you just have random places you can explore, yeah. and it doesn't have Almost to lead to anything. Five so. seconds off. Do, so do you think that uh, do you think that Oblivion <laughs> like appeals? You know, just kind of like segue away from uh, GDQs and everything. Um, do you think that Oblivion appeals to the uh, more to the hardcore gamer um, as opposed to Skyrim, which is, you know, I mean, you can go deeper than that because Oblivion is still chump change compared to Daggerfall. No. Oh yeah, you see. <laughs> no. Put your dukes up. There well, you go. That's what, uh, that's what people say about Morrowind too. But Oblivion oh. was the first one I played, <laughs> and so that's the one that I stuck with. Whereas a lot of people, the first Elder Scrolls game they had was Skyrim, so that's what they're going to stick to, and they're not going to give the older game a uh. chance. Dude, it's all about um, Castle of the Wind for me, dude. Oh, that seems pretty cool. Yeah, you guys don't know that one. So yeah, I see, I it's see. A, that's... It's a Windows 3.1 game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to blow them. Well, I'm glad that you brought that up, though, because I um, kind of want to talk about, uh, you know, gaming, you know, like, putting putting time and emotional investment into gaming today versus you what we had to do back in the day. You know, like, you, you mentioned, what was the game called around? Castle of the Winds. Castle of the Winds. Oh, yeah. I mean... It, it's... You, you need patience for that game. I mean, you need a lot of imagination. I think you need a lot of imagination, really? right? Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, I, I I went to the game when I was like, uh, what, 9 or 8? Yeah. And it, I beat it back when I was... Uh, by the time I was 17, mm-hmm. when I played it again. Yeah, yeah, it uses 8-bit colors. It's really... Yeah, it's only pretty much. You have an avatar that's holding a sword like that, yeah. and you're just moving around like that. Think of it as a. It's like it's almost like a. You guys don't pique my interest of it. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Uh, and I completely understand because if anybody touched that game now, they be like, "What? Well, it, it's it's as uh, uh, appealing as Minesweeper." What if? Well, well, that's, 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 what that's, is uh, the appeal of it, though? You well, can even it's, compare it's that to it's an RPG. Movie. It's an RPG like Skyrim. Well, yeah, it's an RPG but... that's like technically turn-based, but not. It's every single time you move on a tile, there's time passing. Mm-hmm. So essentially, so, it's almost like it's it's. It, it's I wish like, I could say it's like Oblivion or something like that. It's, it's, it's Skyrim of yesteryear. It's no, 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 no kind of. But it's back then. It's like you had to actually rest and stuff in camp, and then monsters come up on you, and like you can explore the whole thing. Everything's randomly generated every single game. Yeah. Except maybe the the main town. And it's officially like it's almost like a real road like except you, there's no well there's permit death, but you get this you get saved and whatnot. Yeah. Um No, but real right when you came to imagination because you literally had no animations. Yeah. And there's and, just and, a tile <laughs> and monster. Someone it's like someone used MS Paint. But once you get to, to ah, but once you start but once you start getting gear and then you see what it does, like, oh man, the game gets ridiculous. It, it feels like one person made it, but they they heavily invested into it. Uh, so you feel like you created it? 
Like yeah. once you're playing, it feels like you're creation. It's, 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 it's like your baby. You're, 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 yeah, you're, you, you are that character, right? Yeah, yeah. A little sure. bit. I don't know. It, it, guys listening at home, just check it out. Castle of the Winds. It's free. Just look it up it's on the free, wiki. You'll know. see the download thing. You get both one and two. We'll yeah. play Oblivion more. Plus, number one, <laughs> not to mention, number one, you can uh, your save uh, continues to the next game. And that was like unheard of back then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but then again, the game didn't change much, so I can see why. I mean, I guess that, that there's something that could be said for, for games like that of yesterday because, you know, you're mentioning like you know, permadeath, you know, things like, you know, like, I'm, I'm sure there's, like, no respawns or anything like that. Well, no, yeah. in a way, it's just funny, too, because you have to really learn how to, uh, you have to open doors and close them, you have to make sure you close them, because... Yeah, because if you don't, the uh, demons will come out of there. Yeah, because yeah. if you try to rest, it will, you know, some of them come, like, for instance, like, really, one of the strongest enemies in the game that's not a boss is a uh, Manticore, and he shoots, like, Spike from across the stage, yeah. or across the room. Like, if you wake up and he's right there in the middle of you in front of a corridor, yeah, you have to run away. So every, t- every time you move, it's a passive time. So yeah. That sounds he's... more, like, anxiety-ridden. Oh, it is, because you are you have zero health, and, like, there's times where you can hit traps, and you have to really hit the press F to search the tiles that you're on, every single adjacent tile, because if you don't, you can run into a trap and lose half your life, or run into a rune and it and lose your curse. <laughs> so and when you're playing this... for masochists. <laughs> and this, but back in the day, I mean, this is what that we had. That's all you had. Yeah. Yeah. Show's and, fun, though. And, and, and the colors, dude. You only had eight big colors. You only had eight colors to work with. Yeah. Yeah. Like, spells. <laughs> but I'm sure you got to use your imagination. You had to. That's all that yeah. was. Did, yeah. But oh, again, with the blue God. I feel like... Because I think earlier we were comparing things like how um, there's more of... Because you guys were mentioning the whole aspect of the fact that things are popular now, so it, it kind of makes you feel salty because back in the day, you guys were the minority. And now mm-hmm. I feel like it's, hey, I, I feel I, like I, it's I, shifted I, to the point where now the mainstream is like, game, like shooter games yeah. and there's still this... Uh, gaming culture where people give a shit about RPG games and games like Oblivion and these games. Yeah. And that's still two categories of people that don't really get the same type of feeling. Yeah, just so people are playing like those uh, Iron Sight games are a bunch of jocks. <laughs> <laughs> people are playing the real hard games are Shots like fired. nerds. Shots fired. But what were you saying about this? I was gonna say the watch, you know, I'd loop you in. I, I would loop you in. You said you guys. I loop you in with us too. <laughs> well, just pay you guys. Yeah. Because <laughs> you played our games, you yeah. know? Um, I had less of an exposure to them. Less of an exposure, but yeah. Much so, less. Yeah. But then, what My circle of friends was like not gamers. I've never had uh, like a gamer but friend you played, that was a girl. But you if you played play Duke Nukem 3D, you're yeah. a 90s gamer. <laughs> I was afraid of Duke Nukem 3D because my dad would be playing and then he'd be like in the middle of a battle and then he'd be like, okay, go ahead. And I'd be just anxiety right now. I couldn't play because uh, I was so scared. I hear you. <laughs> okay, okay. My, mine was Resident Evil 2. I always got freaked out by Resident yeah, Evil. I still have an issue with Trying the working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, what do you have? You have infrared? Yeah. Hold on. Shh. But, um, <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 I don't want to wake them up. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, I don't got ammo for that shit right now. No, um, I, I think the game that I played that actually freaked me out when I was young, um, which will probably sound strange, but it's a game called Descent for PC. Where oh, Descent were, oh, that was, uh, awesome. yeah, that was just, uh, really claustrophobic. Yeah, you're, you're in this little ship, and you have to go around fighting other, like, little robotic yeah, full alien three space things. Huh. And so I would be flying around, and all of a sudden I'm getting shot with, like, with, with little plasma balls or something, mm-hmm. and it would, it would freak me out. I would get frustrated and just stop, because I would literally get scared as soon as that happened. Like, oh my god! <laughs> and now I, I played it again, like, not that I can't remember when, and I'm like, why did I ever <laughs> feel that way about this game? Like, this is just, I mean, honestly, it was kind of dumb at that point, too. But, I don't know, I think it's just a different time, too, because I'm seeing games now that are, like, fully, you know, like, the graphics are so great that... Yeah. You know, you're gonna actually get freaked out They're by horrifying. something. Whereas you look at something like this, and you're like, oh yeah, that creature looks horrifying. I'm a bit more pathetic yeah. than that because I would feel like anxiety through Pac-Man and through Luigi's Mansion. So oh. I don't really think that I'm a good example of uh, somebody well, that well, can play those games. Pac-Man is anxiety driven. That is, you're trying to always constantly get away from something. Yeah, like you're literally running from ghosts. Especially if you're trying to speedrun it. <laughs> yeah. So well, was Pac-Man your first survival horror then? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was. Here, um, um, 
let me chime in on, on the whole scariness on games. Yeah. Like when I was a kid, the, the ones that scared me a lot was was Gabriel Knight what games the? I talked about because the, the acting and, and the suspense of the story. You know, there are some parts where it jumped and like my imagination yeah. got wild with the game because the, the first one was a was pixels. It was a pixelated telling of the story, and then the, the next one was a full motion video and whatnot. But today's games. I, I don't get scared of them, and the reason why is because these talented artists already do the imagination for you. Not even with game, well, games, yeah. quote unquote, yeah. like PT. Oh, P. <laughs> Which is uh, the, the the failed um, uh, Silent Hills game, aka the uh, um, pretty much the saltiness of all uh, Konami fans. Oh yeah, I remember that. Now, yeah. yeah, I guess you know that's like a you know scary experience and whatnot. But that's the purpose of the game is to scare you. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm talking about like, you know, maybe like, a, you know, other, you know, like Walking Dead games or something. I don't, I don't play that oh. too many games. You know, it's like, or like the Doom 4 that came out or Doom 5. Oh Doom. man, fuck Doom 4. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> dude, it's so gory and everything. To me, it's not scary or, or yeah. I don't, you know, it's just... Well, is Doom ever supposed to be like scary though? I don't know if there was. I no, think it's more gory. No, than yeah, it was. Yeah. Because I honestly, I even feel like creepiness with Bioshock. Well, I think it's Doom Three was kind of scary. Kinda gets to me. Yeah, uh, this game's still scarier than Doom Three though. But, but that's my thing. I think today's uh, uh, you know, you know, the beautiful graphics yeah. on the video games and, and, and all that. But I, I just think that they do the imagination for you. They do. Uh, they they do they do. Um. But I mean, it kind of works to that degree because you know, like Ed, like you said, Ro uh, Roxa, uh, PT. Um, that's the scariest game I've ever seen <laughs> no. being played. I've never played it myself. Uh, so I'll yeah, never yeah, get a chance I to play. Could, I mean, I is, it, is it scary or is it more creepy? Honestly, it's creepy. Would you honestly do it though if you had? Uh, no. Would you want to put yourself? I couldn't. That? I couldn't. I can't imagine you doing that. No, I, I yeah. would. But I'm, I, but I'm telling you, dude, you should be glad that it didn't come out because I bet you you would have been disappointed. When the actual full game came out, considering yeah. that PT, you got that whole experience in a corner of a house. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> that's all it was. I mean, yeah, no, trying to do that again on a fucking grand oh, scale, that was yeah. a pretty open world. Yeah, yeah no it thanks. probably would have been oversaturated. It'd probably be bad yeah. as the movies. Maybe it was vaporware. It was vaporware. Almost. It Almost. was vaporware. It was shareware, right? I guess. Yeah, it was actually shareware. Yeah. yeah. Should just flop like a motherfucker. Well, hey, uh, uh, Daniel has a scary game for Blame Konami. What? <laughs> What's which one? Come on. I'm gonna think. Uh, there's Dark Seed. That's yeah. Uh, Doom one and Doom two. What's Dark Seed? The, the Cyber Demon is fucking scary. Dark, right? Dark Seed. A point and click adventure game. game. Uh, it, it was a point and click adventure game again, yeah. but they they incorporated the HR Geigers or Geigers. Geiger. Geigers, whatever. Yeah. Artwork into it, and it's it was a scary game because you buy this house, you in this like you know isolated town. And there's only like three people or four people in town. Two of them are cops. Yeah. And one of them is a neighbor, and the other one's like the barber. And I think there's a librarian. But the thing is, the two cops are the actual aliens. <laughs> and, and dude, it's just like. Yeah. Oh, you go into a nightmare world, right? That's creepy enough already. I know. I know. That's, that's the scary part. It's I like the cops. Be, I don't want to be in a town with two cops. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't <laughs> trust the cops because they're aliens. <laughs> Actually, that, 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 that game actually gave me real nightmares because uh, I was kind of scared of alien back then just for oh. the imagery. But the fucking, what was oh. scary is like they had imagery where it was actually really scary because uh, the whole time you had a, because <laughs> the whole time you had a, you had a, you had an alien probe, you had to actually get it off of you before you died. Wait, what? And, yeah, they, they and that was like the scariest playing. part because it's they, inside you. They, they even show that part too. It was yeah. just like, speaking of, and we were kids when we played that, so that, that's, you know. That's creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dark Sea for anybody that's watching or reading or watching or reading. No, this what? Is <laughs> what's the name? It's the name. Yeah, it's one of those words. Yeah. yeah. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. But I don't know. It's just you know that's that's how I feel like compared to uh, today's games. I think today's games are all iron sights. Obviously, they are all iron sights. But you know, well, there's definitely not as much. They're for jocks. Well, <laughs> I would say every game is, but like I would definitely say that there's definitely th th there's, there's not as much imagination that the player has to no, uh, put because they're looking through the game. barrel of a gun, dude. Well, not all of them. Except for jocks, dude. Come on, when you're on the fucking like when you're listening uh, uh, or 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 you're talking to somebody else online when you're playing games, 
This is all you hear. It's like, you, you, you. Well, again, yeah, we will, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what game are you playing? You are <laughs> we're talking about trying to sure whip or yeah. yeah. I don't know yeah, what they're yeah. doing yeah. behind the monitor, yeah. but they're like, God, you give them a noogie. They give you a wedgie through your head. Yeah. 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 You got like, you know, you know, you know, uh, keyboard warriors or e-thugs. You know, they got you know, a bunch of wiggers behind the, you know, the monitor. It's just like, dude, get a life, man. Is that even really a term anymore? No, it's still a term. It's a 90s term. It's a 90s term. Oh, I don't know about it's that. It's like being in school in life. I'd say it's later and earlier than that. Yeah, but that's that's my thing. It's just like, you're playing against, you know, what sounds like a bunch of uneducated players. Yeah. You know? It's so funny because I noticed this, like, superiority complex with people that don't do, um that don't play Call of Duty, and I'm one of those people that doesn't, and I don't really, those games just don't appeal to me, partly because I suck at them, but also because of that culture where it's just like, if you play online with people, you're just gonna get bombarded with insults. And, but there is, it's it's interesting because we've briefly touched on this when you guys have talked about um, the Marvel movies and how like, you just want them to feel like shit because they used to make you feel like shit. Uh Oh, here here comes Lois. (laughs) Yes. So so it's interesting that the dynamic sort of changes nowadays, but they're still the majority because they are still, the games that are like really, really popular amongst the majority of the crowd are like games like Call of Duty and stuff. Yeah, those are not real gamers. Yeah, and so it's interesting. I mean, so I mean, what what is <laughs> what is? <laughs> it was a pause, like you thought about it. Well, I know, I guess, yeah, because there's an onslaught. Oh, have, 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 have another, have another beer. Uh, have to, <laughs> yes, yes, have another angry orchard. Uh, <laughs> no, no endorsements. Like it's salty. coming right off the tree. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Should this be the angry guy in the car? Right, who's coming off the tree? I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in! Swallow! <laughs> Swallow! <laughs> Angry Orchard. Like you're biting into the apple yourself. <laughs> so, uh, boy. Oh, 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 what's real gamer? What's real gamer to you? Oh, oh my god. Real gamer? Yeah, yeah, what's real gamer? Yeah, what's a real gamer? Oh what's my god! Game? Wait, we'll, we'll start with Alan. This is a real question because, uh... Oh, well, let's let... Let's let's let, let we were talking about this a while ago. Yeah, let's let Alan uh, answer first. Well, okay, I, I don't think I can get the full you grasp of what fuckers. a real gamer is, like, 100%. But for me, it's to the point where, not if, if you think about anybody that plays a game, like, well, anybody can play a video game. Okay, fine. Anybody can play a video game and eventually be able to be good at it or whatever. But I think a real gamer, as we're putting into perspective here, is somebody that <sighs> okay, invested their time in not just the game itself, but sort of the culture of, of games, mm-hmm. of different types, not just, oh, I play Call of Duty, so I'm a gamer. I've played RPGs, I've played action games, I've yeah. played shooters, I've played just all these different varieties, mm-hmm. and I can Trying truly say, mm-hmm. yeah, I can truly say I'm a gamer yeah. because I've experienced what games have to offer me. Yeah. And even though some might not be one that I would play on a normal basis, or you know, some I would love, or some I just don't like, Still, it's getting that full grasp and not really necessarily judging other people based on what games they like because you know what those entail. Yeah. I, I endorse what Alan says. Yeah. No, that's a good way to put it. I don't necessarily. I come from not the same situation, so I feel like inclusivity is the problem with the gamer culture mm-hmm. because People are so adamant on saying like, oh, well, you didn't play the games back then, or you didn't play this or that game, so you're not a real gamer. And ultimately, it's about what you're exposed to, and anybody who plays a game, it, like, people just want a culture to, like, a community of people to bond with over things. Yeah. And when you start being like, oh, well, you're not good enough to be part of our group, that well, just, that's the that issue that I have. Of- I think that stems from uh, gamers being scrutinized uh, back in the back in the '90s when it was less socially acceptable to play games. Because now you can say I play video games, then every, like anyone that you're talking to that doesn't play video games say, "Oh, cool! Uh, I like playing Super Mario stuff like that." You know, like some something very uh, something. You know, that can simple. be seen as like yeah, super simple and super casual. You know, like because who doesn't know Mario? He's like 
like accepted everywhere. He's known everywhere. It's like it's like Disney. It's like oh yeah, you know like who Mickey Mouse is. It's just a household name that you you just know who that is. But you yeah you know, you, like talk about a game like ooh, I don't know. Um, an well, obscure game that not too many people. Yeah. Like, well, it's I think that's also like you know kind of insecurity. But you know I'm gonna bring the F card out and I'm gonna say that if you were a bro and you still had the, the same status in the new game, you'd probably be more excited. Yeah. And I think that's that's a problem with the, you know, with, with video games, and it's getting more inclusive now, but before it was just all dudes playing it, and then as soon as a girl comes in, oh, you're infringing in our territory, <laughs> and then they get scrutinized or everything, well, you don't know this game that well, you know, this and that, they, they question you about everything. Yeah. Well, but even with dudes, like, Coming across dudes that just play games that are not like amongst your favorite. Yeah. It's just people trying oh, to feel wow. better about themselves by making another yeah, person feel like they're not good enough to be. It's like, a very childish uh, way of thinking. It is. I mean, ultimately. Yeah. I I, th I think yeah. It's the the irony behind it is you know like those people were made fun of. I mean, don't get so me wrong. So they want to be salty to them too. So so yeah. So they want to kind of enact some revenge. And don't get me wrong. Like to a certain degree, I do have that saltiness in me because I grew up being you know, made fun of a lot. I I grew up a nerd. You know, just, I got picked on a lot by bullies. But, you know. See the thing, the difference though is that I, I think I mean you still have those feelings, but you're you're more mature now. You're more yeah. accepting, right? Yeah, absolutely. There, there's people that still don't let it go, or there's people that are still like you know the younger kids. That, that I still think that way. Yeah. You know? Like, you know, you're only gonna play this game, oh, well, you're not, you're not good. Or the thing I fucking hate the most, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it was back in the day, too. But, oh, like, uh, I, I play, like, I remember I played uh, Street Fighter 2 uh, Championship Edition, or, or Street Fighter 2 Dash, when it first came out in the arcade. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, well, I get to pick Balrog, you know? Yeah. I picked Balrog. And like, dude, the other guy I was playing against, was, the other guy I was playing against, was like, told me, "Why the fuck did you pick Balrog? Oh, oh he sucks! God. Oh my God, he sucks! What what this was suck!" Was, was, like, was he was well, he a kid or you player? What game was this? This is Street Fighter Two. Well, but this that's like this? Dash, you know, it's not a championship. That would be like playing one of the Dragon Ball games and be like, "Why are you playing as Hercule? That's lame as hell." Uh -huh. yeah. I'm trying it out, like you know, it's, exactly. you to have that experience. Yeah, I know he sucks, but I want to see it for myself. I want to experience it. Must be an elitist amongst gamers, and that in itself kind of bothers me. But little do people know that. Balrog are gonna be like one of the strongest characters yeah. in Street Fighter 2. But that, that, it's just that kind of mentality. Or, or uh, I remember playing like uh, uh, World of Warcraft back in the day, Vanilla WoW, and uh, my friends gave me great for being a, a gnome warrior. What the fuck are you doing being a gnome warrior? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, well, I could be it. And, you know, I could create the character. If, if, if it was such a, 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 a debilitating character to be, then why would they even have it available yeah. to, uh, to play as, you know? That's the thing. Well, obviously, some characters aren't as popular as others, but I mean, you, you, it's, it's, it really is, it, you know, it really does come down to how much fun are you having with it? If you're having fun... I'm having real fun. Then, yeah, exactly. <laughs> then, 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 then who cares? I mean, when, when, that's what bugs me about, you know, about uh, those gamer hardcore leaders, games. Right? Ga yeah, ga yeah, gamer leaders. Like, you yeah. know, just let the person have fun. When you get scrutinized for, for something that you enjoy doing, mm -hmm. I mean, I want to just say, don't forget where you came from. Exactly. Because 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 you were in someone else's uh, um, sights before that. You know, you were in the sights of a bully, uh, of a jock that was like making fun of you. You know, like don't forget all like our uh, you know our, our nerd forefathers who had to take <laughs> those weapons. They didn't and, live to see this day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm fucking serious. Yeah. It, it's people like us that yeah. read Spider-Man comics, and yes. Iron Man comics, X-Men comics, and Star Wars comics. Yeah. That we have fucking movies like that you oh. guys are fucking enjoying today. Oh yes, we had to put yes. up with that shit. We had to put up with the fucking parading and the, and the fucking bullying. So right. we you can enjoy shit. your two-hour movie sad. about <laughs> Iron Man fighting Whiplash. Okay, okay. okay. And okay. I don't mean childish, but I don't care right now. Uh, let, me, let me just take away from this. Okay, so okay. Okay. <laughs> the way I see it <laughs> is it's for Iron. <laughs> it's for comics Jesus and Christ. for comics and for video games. Like nowadays, you have a whole whole different groups of people. Some that that grew up with the comics and are now seeing these them come to life, or those that 
just first experienced it with the movies, or they were just casual comic readers and whatever. And you have people like all all these three groups, like instead of just being accepting, they're like, oh, you know, that's really cool. Like, you know, we're all part of the same community. Instead, it's like, well, you didn't read the comics, exactly. or, or well, you don't know enough about these characters, or whatever else. But, you know what? To a certain point, like I don't like that in Marvel movies they change a lot of the source content. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, it happened, and at a certain point, you have to just be able to let it go. It's and, and you're right. But it's when the people that that watch the movies only and come out and say something like, "Oh, well, you know, you're stupid." No, it was actually, it was actually, um, you know, Tony Stark and Bruce Banner that created Ultron. Like, okay, now hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, don't know everything. Don't. Hold on. don't. So yeah. there's hold on. on both sides. Like, let's just be, you know, just accept. Like, oh, okay, whatever. This is what happened. And it's the same thing with video games where. Yeah. You have old school games like like I was saying earlier, Final Fantasy One, where it doesn't hold your hand, <laughs> yes. as opposed to Final Fantasy Fifteen, where it holds your what hand. it's doing the it, entire it, it time. It tells you where to go. It, it, there's a little yeah, there's a little blip on the map that says yeah. go here. And and specifically Fifteen, it's I'm just gonna throw it out there. It's, just, it's a very easy game as long as you just level up enough. Yeah, you, you will beat the final boss without even realizing it. But that's just the way things are going now because it's it's the mainstream sort of thing to have all these different companies making video games that are coming out what seems like weekly yeah, yeah. Cool yeah. games yeah. and so you're not going to get that same source of creativity and intricacy and if you do then people won't flock to those games because they're like, oh, well, this is too difficult. I don't want to deal with this. I've got these yeah. other 50 games to play. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what? Uh, uh, um, and I do realize I did come off of a really ch childish thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, and you know what? And, you know, I'll, you know maybe I'll, I don't, whatever. I, I, you know, obviously, I was too child, you know, you know, childish on that. But my point, though, is that um, when, when I go to a convention or wait in line for a movie or this and that, and I'm talking comics or Star Wars or whatever movie we're watching, and I drop names and events that happen in these comic books, and like the people are like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And it's like, I'm not that much of a nerd, or I'm not that much of a geek. Well, they dismiss that, it, right? They, I oh, get dismissed yeah, for that, and that yeah. is fucking BS. Yeah, because you're, you're a nerd like, on the outside. You're 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 a nerd on on your skin, right? Yeah. But you're not the nerd on the inside. Yes. Well, yeah, but <laughs> see, instead of them reacting that way, be like, oh, well, I haven't heard of that character before. Like, what, what do they do? Like, because you know, I, I don't Very know all the characters you. myself. Mm -hmm. I, you know, he'll mention a character. I'm like, oh, who, who's that? I haven't heard of that character yeah. before. And you'll mention like, oh, that's really cool. And I'll go and I'll find a comic or something and I'll read it. Yeah. I guess I haven't encountered too many people that are like, just like, no, I'm better than you because of what I currently know. But I'm in the minority when I say that. I just. Um, mostly, like, I've delved into, like, let's say, comic books, indie comics, or, like, sometimes yeah. indie games. Yeah, and she so sometimes safe. I just don't give a shit about... She stays away what, from... I just don't give a shit about what's yeah. current. So I just haven't had that exposure, and nor do I really care to get it. And then that's the... I guess that's the neutral category of people where they're just like, oh, well, I just watch the things that are current sometimes. I guess that's the nerd's burden, is that yeah. we kind of <laughs> have to... You know, in, in a way, that just your ego yeah. Well, well, they, yeah. The, well, there's there's a certain amount of ego that that's definitely involved with it. I mean, um, we're we're not as we're, we're not as um, I can I, I guess you can say like elitist as like a lot of the other nerds are in terms of like, well, if you don't know this, then you know crap, and therefore <laughs> no, get not. out of my fan base. <laughs> you're not because like, <laughs> yeah, because because you're not allowed to you know watch this or, or read this. You no, know, like, you're no. not. But, but by all means, no. Um, you well, know, like, I, I think it's a beautiful thing when more people get to enjoy uh, the things that, that like, you know, like comfortably, that that we had to go through crap to enjoy back in the yeah. day. And I don't know. You know, you know, maybe for me, it's just like, you know, as a kid, I, I never got to openly enjoy Star Wars comics and all this stuff, like today's kids are enjoying it now, or like today's public. Well, shit, back then you yeah. had no one to talk to about yeah, it. Yeah, and I that's, 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 that's <laughs> that kind of hurts me, though. Yeah, it, it, and it, it, then it, 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 it's a bit of jealousy because yeah. I feel the same way he does. Yeah, and, yeah. I, 
Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how I felt too because when I was younger, I I watched the Star Wars. I mean, my dad showed me Star Wars, and of course, you know, Spaceballs. Got to watch Spaceballs. Space oh, yeah. Um, and I was so interested in the universe. Like I went and I got all the books and I read them all up to through the very end of like the Yuuzhan Vong invasion and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah, I had nobody to talk to about it. I just I was alone in that. Because, yeah. Especially because nobody was out there reading every single freaking book like my crazy self that had nothing better to do. Uh, but yeah, but nowadays, you know, all these movies are coming out and, you know, they're really expanding on, especially when they made the TV shows, Clone Wars and mm -hmm. Rebels and stuff like that. And so now it's more accepted. It's just, it's weird to see that transition. To me, it sounds a lot like, it's just, it's frustrating with people that are like that because you think that since you went through such a hardship, you'd want people nowadays to be more accepted mm -hmm. based on their likes. And now that people are getting that way, then you're huh. like, "What the fuck didn't happen to me?" <laughs> and then, but it, but you want to like, it, it sounds like the whole it, like, gay rights activists yeah. that are like, well, we, "We didn't have rights, and now people are getting rights. What the fuck? No. Like, why didn't we get them?" And you're right. We should enjoy it just as much as everybody else. Absolutely. You should be but happy that there's people it's, nowadays who get bullied. That you know what? In a way, for me, it's like I've already got to a point where, it, it, all right, I, I enjoy it as much as I can. not I can't enjoy it anymore oh, as a level. And maybe that's a problem. Uh, the, the other thing, though, is that they rebooted Star Wars. So all the stuff, well, use of on all the games. Yeah. I can't talk to kids about that because they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> you just go through any kids, you're like, hey, yeah. study. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day. Back in my day. And it's like, it's that thing that happens when you age. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you age, you start becoming like, well, we didn't have to, we had to struggle. Back in my so I worry, well, I worry yeah. that it's like your generation you know, uh, is like uh, just not wanting the new generation to be happier. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you make a really good point about the whole gay activist thing, and I agree. But like, let's take it uh, another perspective. I'm a 49ers fan. I got a. I got a <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's, let's turn it. Let's turn it. No, I'm a Raiders fan. I don't give a shit. I'm a Raiders fan. I'm a Cowboys fan. Yeah. I've been a fan since the 80s. I still have my hat. I still have this. All oh, the Cowboys are back in the Super Bowl. I'm so I'm wearing my hat everywhere. Oh, look at this poser over here. Oh. And especially someone like me. I'm. Uh, so I, 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 people mistake me for being. are a whole different thing. Yeah, yeah. No, but give me, don't get me wrong. People mistake me for being 24 years old. So if I wore an old hat like that, they would think, oh, well, this guy. You're current. Yeah. You're with the time. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like people don't understand. It's like there's hardcore fans, you know, that always wear those hats. And then you know, just because the team's doing good. It's like the Warriors fans, they get kids for being bandwagoners. Dude, those guys were, were representing the yellow and the blue. They were filling up Oracle Arena w even before they, they weren't going to make it in the playoffs when Stephen Curry was in and all that. Yeah. yeah. So now they're like, they're winning right. championships, and then it's like, oh, fuck. Well, you know. But then you actually have the bandwagoners who, like, their team you loses. Do. And so they're like, oh, well, you know, my team's out. So, yeah, no Warriors. And then, you know, when there's, and, 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 and if you're, and you, uh, going back to Roxanne's uh, uh, point here, and say, I shouldn't really hate the band regulars because I get to, you know, celebrate in, in jubilation with them because we're all winning, right? Yeah. And I know I have to be that way with the new generation of comic book readers and moviegoers and whatnot, but it, it just, I don't know. It's My question <laughs> is this. What is this incessant need to feel like you deserve this title of like, I was there first? No, because and this, I get that your like your need for like I don't know acceptance, validation. Or, validation, yeah. yeah but yeah. why do you have to get that from outside sources? I think no, for me, I don't. I don't need it. Yeah. I don't need it. To, I don't need it. But it's just for me, it's it's really. It hurts. I, I'm over. I'm over Star Wars. I'm over all this comic book stuff. You know, it's, I, I'm not a, as big fan as I was before. But when I loved that stuff, mm -hmm. it was a hard time in my life being a teenager yeah. loving that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So but now when I see people enjoying it. I should. <laughs> I, I should. Yeah. Well, I'm happy. I'm happy that the kids so are liking it. It's it, it. Yes. No. No. It, exactly. No. It's true because I. I guess I'm ambivalent. I guess I'm ambivalent. I. I'm on. I'm on both sides of the coin for this one because it's amazing to see you know, like, a new generation enjoying 
what, uh, what, 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 what we used to What you essentially got stoned for. Yeah, well, we yeah. yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. We were, like, put on display and just, like, we were labeled, labeled as nerds. And so we wore, we wore, in a way, we wore it, like, as the Scarlet A. You know, we wore it as a badge of honor at, at, at one point. But now it's, like, you know, socially acceptable. You see, you watch, you watch TV shows, like... <clears throat> And I apologize to anyone that's a fan of this show, but The Big Bang Theory, Ugh. which um, I'm just gonna say it, I equated <laughs> to uh, uh, I equated to uh, blackface for nerds. If you guys don't know what blackface is, watch. <laughs> Who does it? Watch Amos and Eddie. If you don't know what it is, hold up. I'm just gonna. Um, yeah, I mean, but uh, right. and you know, and Lewis is right. I think uh, Big Bang Theory is blackface for nerds. It's, you know, like, you, you, you're, you're getting... For lack of a better term. Yeah, you're getting a group of these friends that, you know, represent the, uh, uh, I guess, the stereotypical uh, nerd. Mm-hmm. Um, More like the San Francisco ones. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, like, yes, like, very, very, like, very, like, rich, very successful. Yeah. 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 Tech nerds. Yeah. Rich is a big point. Well, yeah, yeah, mostly. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, and, you know, and, and, and they have these, you know, like, they, they, have, they have these super hot girlfriends. Arm candy. And, arm candy, yep. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, they, they, and they're successful, you know, like, they don't, you yeah, know. That they, one bitch would not do what she was doing in that show. Well, uh, uh, Kaylee, uh, what her name? Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, in real life, I guess, no. Kaylee Yeah, we, I think, like, you know, that dude would have been on the blacklist after the second episode. No, I'm serious. Like, the way he's been acting, it's like, dude, no one's gonna let that one buy it. Oh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Squidward? What's his name? Squidward. Oh, wait, I think you did on this conversation. I love Squidward. Sheldon, yeah, dude. No, that's right, dude. That guy would. No, he would just be on his lab and he'll be in his apartment. Nowhere else. Squidward? Sheldon. Oh, no, but. Squidward. Well, you got a guy like like Leonard, right? He's like the one that was, oh, yeah, I gotta, you know, oh, you motherfucker. Fuck, sorry, I almost killed myself. <laughs> anyway, you know uh, <laughs> no, because you got Leonard. He's fucking. You know, he was just being weird the whole time in the whole show. I'm like, dude. It's like, the, an understatement. Everybody's weird in that show. Yeah, but for him, for instance, right? He's like, oh, you know, I'm just trying to get with her. Like, yeah, I really like her. Blah, blah blah. It's like, you know, he's obviously being all weird. It doesn't really change it to do. You know, it doesn't change himself to be better or anything. He's still the same guy. Yeah. But she forgives. Kind of, it just forgets how she. He wants to begin with, and now all of a sudden he's like, oh, he's like the best guy in the world. We're like, dude. That, that's the media in general. How often you watch this, dude? Dude, I hate you. Know, <laughs> no, yes, man. No, I he's a traitor. He watches Big Bang Theory. Traitor. Traitor. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. To be honest, like the show really sucks, but it's one of those shows kind of like Seinfeld where you, uh, it's you, have, to, you, have, to, you have to watch it's the just, show for the characters. It's entertainment, the yeah, yeah. even if it's not interesting. I know, and, and, and I, I understand... Obviously, why you know back in the day, women got pissed off at the uh, uh, married with children. You know, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a woman and a show. Um, but you know, it's and you know, okay. Uh, uh, retracting a little bit, uh, going back to uh, what Roxanne was talking about, and I don't. What I'm going to say, I don't mean to devalue the movement whatsoever, but the civil rights movement. However, people. <laughs> people, <laughs> just people, oh, boy. people remember. The the, the, the the protesters. Yeah. We still remember them. We still remember all the leaders that did something. We still remember the Vietnam vets. We even have a memorial for that, right? And I'm not. Uh, I you know. No, obviously, just, I, just, I don't want to compare myself to them, and because if I do, then I'm devaluing it. Who cares? Sure, right? so but in many ways, I feel that's how I feel when it comes to. Oh uh, no, no, I don't. Think that's yes, what I'm I guess to that was what I was trying to avoid. It's saying. not like mm-hmm. it's not obviously that gravity of like, oh, you're gonna nothing to really, compare. Yeah, you're gonna nothing get compared to. You're not gonna get killed if you're a nerd. Whereas yeah. with you no. or any of the other things, yeah, yeah. you're gonna get killed. But no, I this, get it. This yeah. this is literally peanuts compared to yeah. uh, what yeah. what I agree. Those people to go those people have to go through. Um, that being said, uh, I I understand that the, the comparison of someone that suffers, uh, you know, f- f- for You're a long oppressed. period of time. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, and then for for that to just the thing that you suffered for is now like. The, the norm mm-hmm. uh, and you see it all around you and in a way it's kind of um, um, was it yeah. it, 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 it's kind of uh, not not deformed but it's 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 kind of insulting you mm-hmm. know like a, a lot of these um, uh, because- like comics for example mm-hmm. like uh, you, Marvel comics 
is it's just an ad rat. is just a, yeah advertising for the movie. Yeah. Uh, and you know it's it's you know I I looked at a lot of the comics and it's not as um. Uh, they're not as in depth as the ones from the '90s and mm-hmm. everything like that, you know, because you know, like they just want instant gratification. You know, you get you know characters like like Guardians of the Galaxy. You see like 1,500 copies of like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy now because you know you have like Rocket Raccoon, mm-hmm. books about Groot, yeah. books about Star Lord. <laughs> you know, and that was a really obscure comic even back in the day. Yeah. Uh, for Marvel in the '90s when that stuff was popular. Um, um, and, and, you know what I compare it to, yeah. like the, the whole thing. So, let's say you have you have comic book fans or video game fans yeah. from way back in the day. They put in so many years. Yeah. Get let's just call it experience with all these different things. So those books don't read themselves. And whatever else, and then all of a sudden this new wave, this new generation comes along that, you know, they just they're part of this now. It's all just the norm, and so it's just like in a job. You nope. get into a field nope. that you really you're really interested in. Get like let's say ten years of experience in this field, you know, and, and whatever. And then all of a sudden it becomes normal. Like engineering in the Bay Area is just it's blown Every, up. Yeah. Yeah. Every, every Everybody's an engineer. What about the people that have been in this field for thirty years and have all this experience? They're getting weeded out because anyone else can do it now. It's yeah. just mm-hmm. part of the norm, and you don't appreciate the people that have been doing it for that long. These these companies don't appreciate it. Just like you know, with with Marvel Comics and DC Comics, mm-hmm. they're not staying true to the stories. They're just, like you said, doing it for the movies. Yeah, uh, and you got a good point there. I, another thing I wanted to add, though, in regards to, uh, like you said, you, you read the entire Yu Zhao Bong series, and all these, and we read these comics, and we played these games and stuff like that. And the thing that, you know, I, I know insulting is too strong of a word, but my thing that really annoys me the most is that I spent time reading source material, the books, the comics, playing these games, all the LucasArts games for Star Wars. Oh, the Tarth is shit. Yeah, stuff like that. I spent time with those uh, 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 franchises or, or games and books. Mm-hmm. Today, you got kids, let me look it up on Wikipedia. Yeah. And it's like, dude, you don't know the whole story. You just know like the synopsis or the cliff notes. Yeah. And you got these people trying to school you you on, know, on, on, on something that you majored in. <laughs> that you majored in. Yeah. It was like being the professor. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I, I, I read the book, or I, I look it up online, you're wrong. It's like, fuck you, no. Yeah. It's like, oh, did you know Boba Fett's not really dead? Mm, yeah. Uh, no, he mm, is dead. As a matter of fact, George Lucas said he is dead. <laughs> but that doesn't matter anymore because fucking he doesn't own the franchise. Fuck Boba Fett. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a shit <laughs> character. Oh, so, no. Day fucking uh, one. Or, uh, oh, hey, uh, did you know that Metroid was really a girl? What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, you fuck. <laughs> and you know, and that's a bureau topic here, but like, uh, one of my favorite bands or guitarists of all time, he died in 2001. I read all his interviews and I knew more about the guitarist than a lot of people on his, on his fan Facebook page know. Yeah. And like, there are people, oh, he was the greatest. Oh, how come he's now these lists? It's like, fuckers. No one gave a shit about this guy when he was alive. Yeah, you guys and now like, and no, one, and no, one, and no wait, hold on, hold on. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. tell me that. Yeah. But then people are like, oh, this is great. Oh. And dude, the other, people, the other thing that people don't know is that this guy hated technology. He was yeah. anti-technology. <laughs> and people were praising him on iTunes and this and that. And I even posted on Facebook. Even his, his nephew. They got you that The nephew confirmed with me. He's like, yeah, you're right. He would have hated what was going on right now. Yeah. And fans don't know that because all they do is just read Wikipedia. Yeah. They don't read inter- those interviews I read. They're no longer online because they're part of pages that don't exist anymore. I, and I guess that's my stigma. Why care now? Why care now and not... It's never so- over. Before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're always fighting the fight. You just don't turn it off, dude. No. But, I don't know. I'm sorry. It's... it's, it's sorry. It's... It's it's therapeutic for me to yeah. To be saying well, this. because it's it's like <laughs> why now? Like why do you have to care now? Why couldn't you care back when it was? What about me? What about because me? he was a, he was a martyr now because he's no longer alive. And yes. that's when yeah. people all go towards somebody like that that dies. And, and I, when Chris Cornell died, like mm-hmm. oh, when, was man, last, that when shit. was the last time we talked about Chris Cornell? I love Chris Cornell, yeah. but 
when was the last time Fuck we really you. had this much conversation? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It, 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 it could be said about Jimi Hendrix, too. No one yeah. gave a yeah. shit about that guy. Yeah, and once he dies, like when Robin Williams died. Yeah. Like, oh my god. It's like, he was alive? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, he committed suicide, that's awful and everything, but we were still talking about him at that point. Raise awareness more than him. Mm-hmm. Well, this society has a problem with death as a whole. They don't know how to deal well, with it. Well, I think, oh, I think we live in a very trendy generation. Trendy? What? Yeah. Flavor of oh, yeah. the month? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. 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 Trendy. Trendy? trendy? Yeah. Okay, never mind. I thought I heard something else. What? Nothing else. I know what you heard. Yeah. I wish people would see the, like, passion in your eyes. It's really sad. Yeah. I wish we were filming this, too, but it's not. You can see there's, like, yeah, there's yeah. that glimmer. But, yeah. it, uh, but no, like, but, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, we live in a very trendy uh, uh, generation where everyone, you know, like, it's it's what's hot and what's popular. You yeah, know? just, it's just like, scroll that DVR. Yeah. It, know, it, whatever's it, on top of there, this was, you know, you know it's, right it's not truly about, like, what... Individuality. Yeah, yeah, it's not really in about, about individuality or about what you really enjoy. It's about how you like to But get. the <laughs> thing that I want to fucking point out is that <sighs> the people that do care about individuality, the whole reason that they can exist is because of the people that are mainstream and because of the people that do flock to all these things that are popular. And those have existed even when, back in the day. I mean, There's the, only, the only way that people can exist individually, like, and people that are passionate about stuff, like the nerd culture, mm-hmm. it, they can only exist if there is an opposing force, and that force has always been there. But we just see more of it now. Yeah. So, you get, like, you guys help each other. <laughs> and, the, like, the one thing that I've mentioned is, uh, like, specifically with, like, all the Marvel movies and comic books that are popular now. Yeah. You guys somewhat reap the benefits now because there's mirth and stuff, and there's more events that are catered towards your needs. Yeah, but um, yeah, there's there's yeah, there's more merch. There's more um, there, there's 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 definitely more awareness. Um, but I, there's a lot of like I think a lot of those things are like um, I'm trying to find the word not bastardized, but like they're. Take, take a walk down. Uh, and They're go, different go, now. Go to WonderCon or go to San Diego Comic Con and, and just go there. Because you guys want to feel special. Hmm? Hmm? We did Everybody feel special. We, we, yeah, we, we want to feel special, but I mean, for me, it, it really is also the fact that, I mean, a lot of these stories are becoming. I, it, it feels like it's catering to. Uh, I feel like a lot of these stories are catering to, like, a new audience and so and they have to you know yeah, yeah. They, they have to because they have to make money they have yeah. to change things up a little bit but i mean um it, i i i feel like the uh, um the the stories suffer because of that though you know like, i feel like the characters that you know these original that, that these create uh, that these creators um that these people made are kind of just you know being thrown under the bus now you but know doesn't it make your past things even that much more special it it absolutely it be, does. It absolutely does. No, and, and, and you're right about that. It, it's just I feel like when I when I see it, it's I feel like it's, it's like an insult. It's an insult. It's an insult. It's an insult. Yeah. I, I know. You know what? I I would be more appreciative if these uh, uh, superhero movies, Star Wars movies, Star Trek movies, just every Disney what, movie. whatever, <laughs> were, just were everything. true representations of their source material. Yeah, I, because I don't, I don't think we'll ever get that again. I don't know why you guys want to watch the same thing that you already know. Well, so so that's not the film. No, no, it's not the <laughs> film. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that I'm, 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 I'm glad that Omero mentioned Star Trek. We're gonna fight by the end of this. No, no, no. Yeah, crash to the window. Yeah, we have we have bottles on standby. We can break them all off the side of the table and just start stabbing each other with them. Oh um, my God, that's no, funny. no, <laughs> no, no. But I'm glad that Omero mentioned Star Trek because. Movies? Oh, oh my god. Fucking I'm so glad Kill Star Trek. Trek. Star Kill Trek. Star Trek. <laughs> now, alright. Dude, that's all the time. Dude, I'm gonna get out of here. If Star Trek The Next Generation came out today, it'll be cancelled after the second episode. Oh, oh thank you. Would be. It yes. would be. But, but dude, that. Dude. But why are you angry about it? Because that, that show. That awesome show. That show. Yeah. <laughs> The writing that show is, I think that show is important for kids today because the writing, there are so many lessons you can learn well, about society, you know? The thing is, like, I have shows that I'm fucking, uh, like, I'm such a fan of that were back in the day. So yeah, 16 and Pregnant? Or? No. Back in the day, she said. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I thought, I thought you meant... Uh, no. My fans. 
<laughs> no, like Zena, which they oh, are trying, it. which they are trying to Tanky recreate. Tanky as hell, Which they shit. are. I don't give a shit. No, dude, um, don't. Which they it's are awesome. trying to recreate. Zena was awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Recreate, that's why you watch the adult one, Spartacus. I don't have this complex where I'm like, fuck, they're trying to fucking recreate it. It's going to get rid of the past. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I, I don't think you're, uh, I don't think, uh, 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 what I'm saying is being misconstrued. What is it? My thing is, I, I would love to see a Tina remake, right? But so it, you're right. It, it, what, in the what's, scene, a, what's a perfect? What was what was I, that one movie that did it right? You know what really did one movie really did it right was Dread. Yes. Oh. yes. It was a reboot. Yes. It was a reboot, right? And, uh, uh, and and also it was made so it would reflect it more today's society, but it was still true to the comic book that came out in the seventies. And the reason why it did it so bad is because everybody kept on comparing it to the, the Stallone movie. <laughs> yeah, that's the sad part. Yeah. Everybody thought it was everybody thought it was gonna be a reboot of the Stallone movie. That's what everyone's mindset what, was initially. No, and I get that, but what what I mean, there's such a thing as like being inspired by things and having your own representation of it. And yeah. yet people are so adamant on wanting to have things the exact way that they were before. Or and I get the aspect of wanting it to sort of um, commemorate like what used to be mm -hmm. and give it the praise that it deserves mm -hmm. so that part i get but not the aspect where you because you guys make it sound like you want like a direct representation of exactly what it used to be well no, no i don't want it word for word you know not all the words but like they do they just deviate so far from it that you like lost okay it needs to be multi you know, you know what you know how i can identify a true gamer is that they hate every video game movie made because none of them are representations of the actual story of the, of the video. Uh, yeah. yeah. But it's just art. I mean, everyone's going to have their own opinion about it. I mean, that could be art, but honestly, when you're going to make fucking Doom and turn it into Resident Evil in space, no well, thanks, man. Okay, well... It, like, that's it, the problem right there. It's like, why, like, you couldn't even make it actual source until... Like, I, I understand... I understand what you mean. It, it's it, I shouldn't get all worked up about it. Yeah, I guess you so. You know, and, and and you're right. I shouldn't, and I don't anymore, and that's why I don't care about this. Stuff that comes <laughs> and out. yeah, you're like, who fixes me? <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. you're, you're you're the one that's like lighting up the match here. <laughs> okay, well, so what, what we I, just uh, what, what, yeah, what we want is just we so, want something that's not going to like if equal you're, representations. <laughs> if you're gonna call it, if you're gonna call it the same name. Or sorry, if, if if you're gonna call it by its original name, then at least pay homage to what the original source material was. And you know, I, like, well, I think that what the problem also is like something that's been way overdone, like Spider Man. Okay, whatever. Yeah. We've gotten like every version of that that we're gonna get, and that's why I'm not overly excited about Home. Yeah, uh, Home neither am I. But. Something like the Avengers, when that first came out, or each each of their individual movies, the first time you're going to see them on screen, then it's we haven't seen this done before. We've seen yeah. it in a comic, but we want to see that comic come to life. It's not like, you know, we've had an Iron Man movie in the past, and sure. so now we can go do an alteration. Mm -hmm. It's we have not done this before. Yeah. Why not start it's, off like the first story? Just this this is what what happened in the comic. Because you've never seen this done before. And the next one, okay, let's deviate on the story and make a new one or something. Okay, at least we got the proper representation for that character. Like, Unlike Fantastic Four, where they just can never get it right. But here's a Roger Corman. Here's a good. Yeah. Here's a here's a, here's a no. really good point. <laughs> no. Uh, here, here's, a, here's a real good example to cement the where we're our position is. Look at Deadpool. That that movie did not borrow anything from the comic books, other than the fact that it's the true representation of the character and yeah. Col Colossus's true representation. Yes, and that's why people loved it. And the thing, it's not like I haven't seen a good representation of a comic. It's yeah. just that, like, that's right now. It's the boom of seeing representations of things, and yeah, yeah. for you to like. There's so many things coming out that to be angry about them just seems like what well, the fuck is the point? You know, and I, I, I think I, I know where you're coming from, and like and in many ways, uh, I'm not really hating on people that like this stuff. Mm -hmm. No, I, uh, no it's, not for not for a minute. I'm if, hating no, on people. If you enjoy it, no, 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 no. Like if, if you enjoy you know, it, if you love it, by all means, yeah, enjoy enjoy what you but, enjoy because we know what it's like to. 
obviously we're nerds. We know what it's like to enjoy right. something and be scrutinized for it. Okay. What yeah. this bugs and me is when people think they know so much about it just because I, they've only seen the movies. It's, but so it's the curious. producers themselves, though. It's, it's the people that make these movies. They call them those names, and or, you know, like you know, by their original names and. Yeah, in a way, it just kind of insults the, uh, the, the like I don't know. I, I feel like it kind of it just kind of drags the original uh, name of whatever. Here, 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 as as, as, okay, as a oh, Mexican American myself, yeah. You know what? What grinds my gears is when I fucking see the mile. I see a bunch of white kids wearing sombreros and ponchos. I think it's funny to I just to think dress. I guess because yeah. I'm Mexican too. Yeah, but. There's, I, I have enough things oh, to be mad, mad at. Oh, there's nothing to be mad about that. I'm, <laughs> I guess gonna... I'm too. I have enough things to be mad at. Yeah. Well, like a movie, which is to me, like a, an art form, mm-hmm. is just another. Like, oh, I just didn't like the representation of it, but whatever. I don't either. And I just, I just have a big voice in my opinion. Yeah. That's yeah. Um, but the thing uh, with, the, with the Star Trek stuff, it's like, um, I, I, you know, it's, I sound so silly when I say this, dude. But when the first Star Trek movie, the remake that came out. Yeah. Uh, I, I grew up with that stuff. Next generation, dude. Yeah. that stuff. Deep Space Nine, dude. That was like Bible stuff for Voyager. And, yeah, and then Whoa, and I, I even like the, the original series too. I like Voyager. And no. dude, and, but when that stop saying that, Voyager, guys. When, <laughs> when that remake came <laughs> out slash reboot, and then I have people coming up to me. Oh, I love Star Trek. That's fine. They love it and everything, right? I can imagine. But I'm, I'm, you make it. <laughs> it's like, I'm just looking at these people. I'm looking at these faces. And it's like, you, you are the, the same kind of people that, totally that fucking just, tormented me yeah. for liking this. And you know, it's funny because like, even like, oh, even man. when the movies came out, like I can, like the way certain people said, oh, I'm going to go see Star Trek. Right. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. You know, it's like, <laughs> that's <laughs> a bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll check it out. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, well, I love it. Uh, yeah, but, but it's so true, though. I mean, it's like, you know, like you can tell that they were still a little embarrassed to say it. Mm-hmm. But then once you see the trailer, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to fucking see Star Trek. Fuck yeah, dude. Motherfucker's on a motorcycle, like, doing oh. flips and shit. You know, like, it's like, you know, they're all, like, For me, like, ten times younger than they were before. You know what that's yeah. like? That's like Pokemon. When Pokemon yeah. first came out, everyone was all super embarrassed about it. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, oh, you played Pokemon, you're such a child. Yeah. Blah, blah. And that was just completely Oh, yeah. Every, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Pokemon I was embarrassed go. to go to the store and buy a Pokemon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Po- I was never play- embarrassed, No, po- playing Pokemon was like watching porn. Yeah, it was. Like, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Can I get That's enough yeah. 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 right. Please explain. Uh, yeah. In the sense that it's, it was... You were it was, ashamed. Yeah, you were... Yeah, exactly right. I can't pull these cards out in front of people. Oh, shit. Yeah. You know what? Oh, yeah, the cards are open. And, like, in, in, like, in the corner somewhere with your friends where you're just like, yeah, look at these, like, oh. these cards are here, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, when they were like, oh, you play Pokemon? Oh, but you little child play Pokemon. Exactly. Yeah, you guys were yeah. so, oh, well, severely bullied? Yes. Yeah. I was just bullied. <laughs> and the thing is, I was never bullied for these things. I was just bullied for existing. So, so I guess that's why I'm like, well, fuck, am I going to be angry about anything? Well, maybe that, in many ways that stuff was our existing. And uh, I think it might have been worse. For dudes, because like I never experienced any any shaming for like any of my it lives. It was just for existing. It was worse yeah. as a dude because you had that whole bro culture that yeah, you turned into like cars, now. sports, yeah. Yeah. and you know, be just like working out all the time, dude, be like super jock dude. I would fear, you know, for me, I would fear for my social life if I, if, if, you know, if I were to wear a Star Trek uniform for Halloween. That's just not yeah. cool. Back there. Yeah, but yeah. nowadays it's like, oh, hey. yeah, everyone, yeah, you, you see, you see, uh, was it a Chris Pine's, uh, um, yeah, Chris Pine's oh. outfit? And uh, don't get me wrong, it's not that I disapprove or or whether you know it's a bad thing. You know, it's you know it's great that they're doing it, but it's just you're still mad. I'm still mad, yeah. and you know, and I'm, yeah. I, 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 and it's that, just that, that 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, and you know, it's just like it's like walking around in San Francisco with the LA doctor's hat, dude. It's just is, like is you'd be afraid to do that. Well, is yeah. it still a form well, of shame? Not even dead. <laughs> is it still a form of shame that you impose on yourself for liking these things? Because that's what it seems. No. In the sense that, um, like the things that I was bullied for were like whatever. For girls, it's different, I guess sometimes. Yeah. But I mean, essentially, you build up your own confidence, and then. Mm-hmm. 
You get past it. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's just no. Like, it's it's definitely not a form machine because I can you know like I I I you, I, I, I work in preschool yeah. and I wear nerd shirts all the time. You know, yeah. like it's it's Same just here. yeah. And you know, yeah, it, 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 well, it, I'm not wearing one right now. But, it's but stupid but I know that you're right. still ash- you would still be slightly ashamed because of the people that you work with. Oh, because of one dude specifically, but he's sixty. He's not going to get any better. He <laughs> <laughs> bullies people for. He bullies people just because it makes him feel better about himself. Yeah. yeah. So. So it's not a form of shame that you're that you're still inflicting upon yourself. It's you just can't get like you can't get past what happened. You don't want to risk the fact that somebody might make fun of you because. Of it. That's that's the shame. That's that's the feeling that we're carrying around. I can you know, tell. Yeah. Definitely. And I, I don't. And I don't want to. Inside, I, I hate to say. It, I mean, I don't want to. I, I can understand. You know, uh, by fractions, a little bit, how uh, you know, a black person lives a life. Because yeah. they're always looking over their shoulder. Yeah. And again, not it's a that's form, a, No, I get it. It's a form of oppression. But, but for, for, for the people who are listening, for the people major, listening it might be, I don't need to value what a yeah. black person goes through in life, but just to give you an idea of how I feel, that's. You know, a little well, reflection. Speaking of a surprise, supply, surprise, I am uh, <laughs> and I'm sure you figured out from one of the earlier what? episodes. Well, <laughs> no. Why the, is that what they call it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's just um, <laughs> having to, yeah, like ha- having that feeling of kind of like, you know, looking over my shoulder. That's still there. I mean, it's not. It, it's not a severe like you know for you know, like when I work when I wear my nerd shirts I'm definitely not as like oh man are they gonna be like weird about yeah. this in fact I think it's kind of cool like I I, I think it's kind of cool that um, that I wear like you know shirts like um, I don't know some like I'm wearing a personal five shirt right now but um, you know like I, I'm hoping that people will on some level get the reference that's something that I kind of hope for um, mm-hmm. but. Good point, because um, especially with the cosplay and just going to these conventions, yeah. right? It still feels like it's still nineteen whatever ninety six or ninety five. Yeah. And the reason why is because I was like, you know, remember I dressed up as Charlie, right? Yes. Nobody right. knew who the fuck that was. Yeah. Right? yeah Nobody yeah, knew who the fuck that was. The sad part about that is that during the, when you did it, he was. It, it was, was like really five good. years since Alpha 1, 3, and 3 came out. Yeah. Nobody knew who it was. Probably no one plays And, fire, the, and so. the thing, though, it. it and I went to this convention where you're supposed to feel exclu- inclusive, right? And you do. But when no one knows who your cosplay is, you're back to feeling alone like yeah. you were in the 90s. Or when you wear a t-shirt... Everyone's cosplaying the month, dude. You're not going to do it all the time. The new shit. I, never, I don't know. I thrive on feeling like out because I just uh, that happened throughout life and it's just become a normal thing. Well, the thing, though, is that you know, a lot of people put time and effort into these cops. I think the twins do too. They they yeah. they they cosplay their favorite characters and they walk around and people don't know who they are. Yeah. And you know oh, it was already a lonely feeling in the nineties, but to have that going on now, it's just like you're 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 an alien. You're, yeah. you don't belong. And that's where I'm going like I could go to a Star Wars convention well, I think people will understand if you're... No, actually, Star Wars convention, yeah. Yeah, but. they'll understand. But if I go to Comic-Con and dress up as a Star Wars character yeah. in one of the novels, people will be like, who the fuck are you? Is For the most gonna part, yeah. You no, know? No one's gonna but don't people ask? Huh? Do, do people ask? No. Uh, what they'll, do, what they'll sooner do is take a picture of you. No, they'll be like, whoa, that looks cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll say, <laughs> that's, an awesome, I, that's an awesome costume, can I take a picture? Or so they'll constantly be made for yourself. Like you're, like you're a spectacle. Yeah. So you still and get a sort of a validation. To you you well, get no, validation, uh, but not yeah. for... Okay. And people cosplay right for reason. validation. I don't care what the fuck the cosplay community uh, says. You it's... cosplay for validation. <laughs> yeah. To whatever degree, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think part of it also, like, when, like you, let's say you dress up for Halloween or something, and then yeah. you go out and somebody calls you a completely different character than what you are. And that's frustrating. Oh, too. Yeah. Like if, like for example, if you dress up as Luigi, and like, oh hey, look, it's Mario. It's like that's just frustrating. Like, oh, yeah. oh come on, well, dude. I, I cosplayed uh, Spider Man with uh, with Daniel, which was Venom, and they called him Spider Man constantly. <laughs> I I constantly. remember I went to one of the conventions where I was dressed up as Carnage, and everybody thought I was Spider Man. Yeah, I dressed up as Deadpool, and they called me Spider Man. Yeah. So I Whoa. mean, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, you know what? And. Uh, As we're expressing this, I know we sound like a bunch of, like, bunch yeah, of kids. Like nerd raging. We're yeah. just nerd ragings, all right? I'm, 
actually much more mature than I sound like. Is, <laughs> we'll take it more for that. Yeah, we'll yeah, just, just, just take it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I just, just, I'm just venting that song. that 16 yeah. pregnant comment. Yeah. <laughs> Please do. Actually, that, that's a really good show. And it really helped out a lot. I of used t- to watch it. But it, 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 it really did yeah, help uh, prevent a lot. It significantly decreased the number of uh, teen, teen pregnancies. pregnancies. So, as much as so you can shoot on it all you want. Oh, I will. I think that was just a heated moment. It was. I definitely don't feel like that was. I'm not angry. That, yeah. It's okay. No, there's gonna be a boxing match after this, yeah. so uh, check huh. the YouTube. We're gonna record it too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would do it. Uh, no. Bro, did, did, you, did you hear the satire in my voice? <laughs> <laughs> I think we have gloves I'm in the car. I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh boy! But yeah, it's nerd culture. I and mean, you know what? I just I had to let that out. I yeah. you know I, I I think other people need to hear it's, it. Well, it's something the, the thirty like, viewers that watch our videos. Yeah, I'm sure that a lot of people feel that way. Yeah, and I think a lot of people feel my way too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. No. Um. Otherwise, because I was I was uh, I was talking to my boss uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday about a uh, she had no idea what I was talking about when I said casuals versus. Uh, uh, nerds and um, well, it's segregation, man. What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. In the community or in general? I don't know. I just threw that word out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, we could fit in. <laughs> we, yeah, we're so not like water fountains. Okay, we're just a completely is... different. Yeah. We're so. not using different bathrooms or anything. <laughs> no. no. This <laughs> over there is casual. Yeah. But yeah. did you use to have to? <laughs> this what doll is is uh, casual. There was a time. There was a time for no. gamers. <laughs> it's funny because that type of discourse didn't, did, that type of discourse didn't exist. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I mean, I can't talk for women as a whole. But that type of discourse, I feel like it doesn't really happen as much in the female community. It does because, um, um, I, and I can't speak for, for, for me, for females, so I won't. <laughs> but what I'm saying, as a dude, you're expected to be a dude. You're supposed to be bro. Yeah. Dude, look at the whole bro culture. On my my ass. Ass, you know? It's just like, oh, hey, do you know this bro? It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Get in the gym. And ask me, I'm going to play the NBA. Yeah. 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 I hate that. And I know it's some fucking lanky kid behind the computer saying, <laughs> <laughs> do you even lift, sir? It's hard. It's, it's, it's hard to. Because uh, the society and the internet's, you know, already uh, uh, created this perception or this idea of what it is to be a bro or a man. Uh. And, um, I don't know, it's just ridiculous. It's just, and that's how it was worse in the 90s, it was worse in the 80s, it was goddamn even worse in the 70s and yeah. 60s. <laughs> it's gotten worse over the years. It was, <laughs> it's getting better, no, but it, it's just like... It was, a, it was bad times to be... Yeah, it's, yeah, not, it's, it's not gotten better. It's not years, cool for, for yeah. a man to, you know, express emotions. Yeah. Um, or anything like that, or anything yeah. that, that would you know mark them as a uh, e- effeminate. Hey, men have one emotion. Oh, yeah. Anger, okay. Yeah. 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 Apparently, well, it's tonight is anger. You know. <laughs> the worst thing or, a person can be. Uh, for a woman, it's like no one you know in, in this common knowledge, no one says anything. Oh, you're wearing boy shorts, or you're wearing. Uh, You'd be surprised. Really? How many times I've been called a dyke, or how many times I've been called okay. a boy? <laughs> okay. Then, then, from yeah, who uh, From people, from no. guys, from. Wow. Uh, girls never really do that to me. Well, hey, that, that's cool to know because I, I was totally in the dark about stuff like that. So. Mm. Yeah. But people uh, are just hateful. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's society. You know, the, the the society you know makes their own rules and regulations, and you have to abide from them. You have to be black. You have to be Mexican. You know, you can't Labels. be you can't be a gay guy toting a gun. Uh, you know, voting Republic. You know, you have to be liberal. Yeah. <laughs> He does in two minutes. Fuck that. Or black guy that plays some JRPGs. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. that. There's more of that around. I ain't talking about. Huh. <laughs> Wait, what? RPGs? JRPGs. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. It's obviously you know this is a this very, is a, very <laughs> a very passionate topic to talk about. It's a pessimistic bunch here. No, I mean, I'd like to think that, I mean, we, like, it, it, well, it's definitely a topic that isn't really discussed as often as I, I'd like to hear about. And, it, and it's not a positive one. It's, it's not, it's not, because, you know, it, it, it dives into, you know, being bullied, it dives into, um, 
you know, being accepted. Um, and in a way, it's it's kind of a selfish point of view. Uh, just wanting to keep this culture to yourself and not wanting to share it with anyone. But I think another point with that, too, that I just want to throw out there sure. is whenever things become trends or become popular or anything else, they don't stay that way. They eventually mm -hmm. end. They, they, they I can't wait. Shadow. I can't wait. But, but if that, when that happens, how can we say for sure that it doesn't always? Because sometimes when a trend dies, it full on dies. And this could be... This could have been a long time coming where something that we loved that was underground finally becomes mainstream and then all of us lose our taste for it just because of what they do to it. And we don't know what's going to happen in the future. I'm already losing my taste on it. I well, think everything's getting longer down. In the, in, in the case of, uh, I'm going to bring this up Ghostbusters that came out last year. And get ready for it. <laughs> well, um, no, it, it's, it's not going to be bad. It's just, uh, I, I love the Ghostbusters. I love I love both of the movies, and I love the real Ghostbusters. Um, and when they made that movie, I feel like, um, yeah, you know, like they'll never be able to take the original away from me. But I kind of, uh, uh, yeah, I, I feel like it devalued the franchise as a whole, and now it's going to be really difficult for that movie to 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 be revived in 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 the proper way that I feel that it should. And when other movies come out like this, like this where, you know, these producers uh, want to make these movies and their visions without paying, like, respect to, or the, the proper respect to the, the, the source material, um, again, it, it's just devaluing the... Uh, uh, well, I'm going to have to disagree on that one. Really? Because as much as I, I didn't like the Star Trek reboots, and as mm -hmm. much as I don't like these new Star Wars movies... Nothing is going to take away my original trilogy. No, no. Nothing's going to take my my injection away, and nothing's going to take my uh, old school Lucas Arts games away. They're, they're, they're always going to be there. They're not going to be. They're not going to be manual like that. I, I I agree. I mean, I didn't I didn't mean to say that it's like um you know like I'll never have those because I will. I'll, like I'll in the case of Marvel, I always tell I was uh you know tell my friends and everything. I'll always have. I will always have the 90s Marvel comics to look back on and to read and to enjoy, you know, mm -hmm. like the, you know, those guys aren't going to come into my house and steal my comics and say, this is what you should be reading at Marvel now, you know. <laughs> Watch no. what you say, dude. A book word. <laughs> well, I know, yeah, right? But, but I guess, I guess, um, I guess it's kind of sad to see that it's going to be hard to see stories like that be, you know, replicated. Oh, you <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, one thing, one thing that I do, um, that is interesting is that when these new movies do come out, like even something as simple as the movies, the old movies, the original movies being on sale at Target. Yeah. Even that's a thing. Like people go back and so review yeah. the things that they originated from. Yes. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, who knows if they would have even had. Anybody to introduce them to that. That's, That's true. Point. It, That's brings, true. it brings awareness to the franchises and, and to all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, like, um, for better or for worse. Yeah, I remember um, when um, when they were speculating if, if Ray was going to be Luke Skywalker, and there being all all the real fans, you know, I shouldn't say real fans, but all the you know fans were saying, oh, well, she's she's like she's a genius solo for this movie. And that prompted all these newbies to look up who she was. And, you know, okay, maybe that was a little proud moment for me because I yeah, showed that. Actually, get some of those, the representation for those kids. Like, yeah. you had no idea what they did or mm -hmm. what they were going to do. And yeah. was uh, and, and, the most powerful, anyway. The thing, <laughs> the, the, the thing I was really happy about with the, with the Rogue One, as much as I didn't like it, was God that. God damn it, that movie. Yeah, well, huh. the, the main character was Jin Erso, right? And prior to that, a lot of old school fans was like, "Oh, this is gonna be the Dark Forces movie." Because in Dark Forces, you you play two rebel agents, you play a rebel agent, and one of the first missions is you steal the, the Death Star plans, right? Oh, well, one of the your, your, the pilot that flies for you is named Jan Ors, and it's very similar to Jim Erso's. So everybody's all like, "Oh, it has you know, it's the throwback to Jan Ors." Cool. And, that, and also, a lot of those characters were almost perfect representations of the Knights of Ren as well. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so everyone was expecting, like, you know, even though they, well, spoiler alert, they all die. 
like that <laughs> since these characters are so similar to the Knights of Ren that they were going to end up being them, and obviously that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, I, I don't know, it's just, for me, it's like that whole Jan Wars thing, when people, when kids were starting to become interested in that, it's like, oh, who is she? And it's like, not only was she a, 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 a strong female protagonist that Disney wants, but she was also a, a, an Asian, so that you already had the, 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 what's called the, the minority role, right? yeah. or the ethnic role. And I'm surprised they did not use her. They did not incorporate her in the movie. <laughs> but I don't know. But anyways, point is, when, when they do mention, back to, you know, uh, 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 having these uh, shows uh, represent, or, or, or sort of like a, bring attention to uh, old uh, franchises or video games, I think that's pretty cool. I think, you know, when they people go back on Wikipedia as much as I don't want them to do, or rather than read the books, they, you know, at least they can educate themselves at, to the stuff that I grew up with. Yeah, they're able to kind of look at <coughs> look in the past and uh, research what made uh, this stuff so cool to begin with. No, that's true. It, it's like, um... It's a way to look at it, too. It, it's like it's like someone, you know, dropping or, or a comment or, or you know, a throwback to Ghostbusters or Back to the Future. Yeah. And they never see the movie. You know? Yeah. It's like, oh, I know what happens from Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. But it's like... <laughs> well, when the, when the eventual reboot comes around, they'll be able to go back and watch the, uh, okay. the originals. It, it's <laughs> like, uh, uh, in, in one of my... Um, uh, honors class at San Jose State, we were, were talking about how you have to read this shit, right? Yeah. And Cliff notes don't work out. And one of the girls that was with me, she was like, yeah, you know, I, I, I did the, the Cliff notes in high school for a book, and the professor knew I didn't read it based on the questions she asked me. Yeah. Because there are specific questions that you need to know that yeah. the Cliff notes don't have it. So in many ways, it does, you know, for the for the entertainment and, and the and the enjoyment and, and the experience, it is worth watching or reading the book or reading the source materials, the comics, uh, anything like that. You know, just don't read the Wikipedia. You know? Yeah, I would agree because uh, honestly, a lot of the the movies that they make from comic books or books are just another form of publication for the original, the book. Mm -hmm. It's just another way to advertise the fact that it was created. Because I oftentimes go back and read things when they come out as movies or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know it existed beforehand. Yeah, and uh, same here. I, I follow the you know I follow the same uh, same pattern as well. So yeah, they do that with the animes too. Like they're doing the Death Note one, uh, which I've heard some or interesting Ghost in the things Shell. about. Mm -hmm. uh, Ghost in the Shell, yeah, which uh, there's controversy with that. <laughs> um, that was a boring movie. movie. No. The whitewashing. Oh, yeah. I mean, there you go. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Awesome. What, was it really hard to hire a, an Asian, a, a talented Asian? Well, actress? Apparently so. so. <laughs> and, and, all right. So, and here's my opinion on that. Talk um, about racist Hollywood, dude. Yeah. Uh, is that I was watching a, a video from Max Landis. Um, and you guys can search it up. It's um, his his response to the uh, the whole whitewashing thing of, of Ghost in the Shell. Um, oh, yeah. Back before the movie came out. He agrees. He he believes that there should be more uh, culture, um, you know, like in, in movies. But when you have, you know, yeah, more, more representation. Uh, but when you have uh, these studio executives that know what sells a movie, mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to have their millions of dollars. And again, I I don't agree with this. This is just yeah. what he he brought to the table as far as their reasoning as to why. Um, it wasn't a, an, an Asian actress that maybe not all people may have known about. Uh, Scarlett Johansson's a household name. You know, like you, mm -hmm. it, every, everyone knows who, who she is, and she's popular right now because of the Avengers movies. Um, oh, fuck you, change it. So, so, oh, so they're uh, yeah. So they're, like you know, these these studio execs are just you know they're they're pumping all this money into this movie. They want to make their money back. So yeah, they they, they are gonna put put someone in there that can sell a movie, um, especially with movies as popular as, I know that she wasn't all just the, like, she she wasn't, like, the entire Avengers movie, but I know mean, she, she was definitely... The one girl. Yeah, yeah, she, she, she... She sucked. Yeah, she wasn't very interesting. Even still. The movie was actually just bad. 
Wait, oh, 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 what movie we're talking about? Avengers. Avengers. Oh yeah. But but like in terms of like Ghost in the Shell, you know, like they you know they don't want to lose money on it, so they're not going to get some. They play it safe. Right. Yeah, they, they, they play it safe, safe, but it's, it's, it's a catch twenty two. They play it yeah. safe. It's a catch. It's yeah. a catch twenty two. I mean, they play it safe, but they play it safe because it's built on a, this foundation that we have a racist, sexist uh, Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny because we were talking about this briefly where it seems like it's starting to become a trend where people actually give a shit about the minority about and, the minorities and, 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 and about female, being, yeah, yeah, and, that's, and about being inclusive in regards to everything. Yeah, but do they so really give a shit about so, No, they don't. Yeah. It's right now it's, it's starting cool. to it's become a, trend. a little bit trendy. Yeah. And as much as I'm for that trend happening, it's they still think that it's that's going to sell more. It's not sincere. Yeah, it's not sincere, but even when they do try to keep it uh, whitewash, it's like now that's becoming the trend, so a lot of people did boycott that movie. Which one? Uh, oh, uh, in the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, uh, a lot of people said that about Doctor Strange as well. And I heard it all so, about yeah. uh, Death Note. Strange. Well, that, that's, well, there's a reason it happened with Death Note, but I still don't necessarily agree with that. It's just because they're basing it out of this area instead it's, of Japan. Yeah, yeah it, but it's, there's it's, still Asian people uh, here. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> I, I get why they had to change his name. Yeah, but because but, well, I mean, not necessarily his name, but just like how his everyday life would go. Yeah. But yeah, they could have didn't have to use a white person. It's just that right now it's. Uh, my, my, um, of course, a white person murdering yeah. plenty of people is very believable. It is very yeah. believable. So, <laughs> <laughs> he said it. By the way, he's white. I am white, yeah. by the way. <laughs> 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 But no, you have a really good point about the, the this condescending view of uh, having minorities in, in, in you know, promoting minorities in, in, in movies. It's almost like you know patronizing, right? It is. Yeah. But and, and I agree, I wholeheartedly agree. But it has to start somewhere. Yeah, it does. It has that's to start. that's exactly what. Yeah, that's what. That's it's what okay that it's a trend saying. because when else? Uh, you know, yeah. And I was talking to Lewis about this the other day. It's just like it's it's tiring. To see a, a pool of white actors available for any movie, mm-hmm. and when it comes to black actors, there's only Denzel and yeah. Dude. Who's the other guy? There's that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You got one other you guy. You know, that's it. Saying Denzel is really dirty now. He's yeah, he Denzel, Elba. Jamie Foxx. He's just Elba. Yeah, uh, 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 I would say the disparity becomes even more apparent when you consider Wait, Asian Wait, actors or I'm Mexican sure. actors or Hispanic <laughs> of any kind or whatever. You know what? And, and Indian. Oh. And anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. But look at the Mexican actors. You got that one guy. What's his name? Uh, uh, what was and, it? Antonio Banderas? No, the, the, the fucking joke that, that they made into. Uh, oh, um, the, the guy from Ant-Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, well, like, opinion, it's it's like, funny. yeah. Dude, this guy went from being fucking Cesar Chavez in the movie to uh, really? oh, I, I like to smell yoga pants in the fucking that one movie. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, chips. But he's chips. actually, but he's funny though. That's he is thing. funny, he's dude. A but then, actor. He, but why is he funny though? Because he's a comedic he plays actor. He's, he's not funny. Yeah, he's <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. Are you serious? You're sitting People watching. People know what Indian. they want. Okay. So he's saying when I when you go to Ant Man, it's like, oh, I'm I'm laughing because he's Mexican. Yes. I'm yeah. laughing because he's in the underworld. And the shit, he, the, sh- the way he delivers his lines. You're laughing story. because that other people are laughing for a different yeah. reason. Yeah, because he's Mexican. I don't yeah, think it's like that. It was the accent, yeah, it was the, the way, way he turns into himself. Does things, you know, the way he talks about the certain things. Well, it, it, that's what they were going for, and I think that's kind of. I mean, as, as funny as it was, I think that's also kind of part of the problem. It's the typecast people. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a typecast. Mm-hmm. Until you know, we start. If you want a real typecast, look at Hector. He's a real one. You, yeah, got to, you got to explain. I don't know who you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, well, if you guys watch Fast and Furious One, he actually even if he was in with Dark Knight, he's a he's a stereotypical uh, thug Mexican. You know what's mm-hmm. unfortunate? Oh, I don't yeah, even remember who that is. I know. <laughs> I I'm track. part of the You know what? I think I saw him at uh, I think I, I think you saw him at the toy show. At yeah. the toy show, yeah. yeah. But that's that's the thing, though. It's just like you know, it's just. It's not like shit. In many ways, that's why you know. I, I, that's why I like Wonder Woman. Was yeah. uh, okay, good. I'm glad that you brought this oh, up. Man, that made me cry. If you the, the oh, I always like, cry. You, you know why I really like that movie? And you know, maybe we should cut this as a different uh, thing. Uh, but, oh, just leave it as is. Well, later on. But the reason why I like that movie was that Wonder Woman was not othered. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if people don't know what other means, look it up on Wikipedia. Yeah. Uh, she was never <laughs> othered. I think you can understand. Uh, no, she knew who she was. She knew her abilities. 
And she wasn't like, oh my god, look at these superpowers. No, everybody around her was like, what the fuck is this? You yeah. know? And she yeah. thought she was normal. Yeah. And she, everybody else was othered. And that's what was, what was refreshing for me, you know, to, to in the movie. Uh, like that. And um, people want to bash it. It's like feminist uh, propaganda and all that. It's Go not. It. <laughs> Even if it is. Yeah, but it's, it's a great ahead. movie. But, but it, it, it's a, yeah, it's a great movie. It, it, Never did I once thought, oh my god, you know, this woman's too powerful for me. I never I never saw her as a man or a woman. I saw her as a it's superhero. As a superhero. Yeah. And that's what I want from my movies. That's like, the basis yeah. of what makes a good mm-hmm. movie. Yes. I think and that's the issue that people had with the uh, And if people uh, with Supergirl. Supergirl. Well yes, Supergirl, um I the the sting, the stigma behind that was the fact that she, it, like, the, or the show, I should say, rather, uh, constantly had to spell it out for you, like, well, you can be a woman, and you can be powerful, too. Of course you can. She's Supergirl. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, she's, she's pretty much on the same strength level. And, and as, I, uh, I got a retort for that, too. Uh, 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 Me, too, actually. <laughs> yeah. No, and and I, uh, I'll present it right now. I, I yeah. think, and as much as... It is condescending for you and me yeah. that they're saying that because we already are on the same page in yes. regards to that. But the reason they had to do it is because there's people out there, in middle America that, that still don't get believe it. Believe that yes, yeah. I know yeah. that that women that they, they, they had can't to be, be powerful. They, they had yeah. to be normal. I understand. Yeah, you know? and I think I that's know. why it is. You know. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. It's, it's, it's that, unfortunate it's, that's even a thing. It's, it's, it I is. know, and that's, yeah. that's why yeah. and sometimes yeah. it is important to highlight the fact that yeah, you know what? There's the fact that there's even controversy about the fact that. It's just, she's, okay, she's admitting that she's a woman. The fact that that's even a controversial topic is, in and of itself, part of the problem. So, for some people, it is important for them to hear that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, you're, but, but you're a woman, you can't, but what? There's not really that doesn't make so sense. much of an issue here in this country that not much. There, no, no, there's well, definitely not in yeah. California. No, California, yeah, but there's women in, in, the, in the Midwest that yeah. don't vote for themselves. There's, they just vote for whoever the husband votes very for. Very much. And I'm just saying. There's, uh, <laughs> there's like, dude, I was reading up on um, Xena, and I forgot where, but there was somewhere where they would cut the sequences of her fighting so that they would not show her cleavage and not show her legs. And so there's places where this shit matters even more than it does here, yeah. and that's yeah. important Middle in, East. in and of itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Middle East is like you can't have any woman be yeah. so. uh, That that's its own thing. Yeah, but we're, yeah, we're, we're not going to beat yeah, that that's, today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good point. We're not going to beat it today. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and, and, you know, and I can go out on a limb and say it's not going to be us that beats it at all. Yeah. So, no, it's going to be me. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, let's go yeah, beat sexism in the Middle One hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the other thing I wanted to you know, talk about was uh, Blade. Um, oh. there's, a, there's an example of having a, a black uh, uh, character not being black. Yeah. yeah. You know? Dude, I know it. Yeah. That's how that's and what not, they're doing with Black Panther. Yeah. Well, well yeah. We'll see. That, it, that's, well, yeah that, that, they're already that, doing it. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, like the movie is like totally, you know, just, oh, it's it's in Wakanda, it's in Africa, you know, yeah, and they have they have like a lot of like r- really well known uh, black actors and actresses, um, but you know, like, I I I, you know, I saw the trailer for that and then I watched Luke Cage, and I don't know, like I just I, I think I'm ready to see a show that doesn't or, or a movie Does that doesn't pander? like yeah doesn't like pander to uh, uh, oh. Th- this is, the, you know, this takes place in a black neighborhood, or this takes place in Africa, or or this takes place in, you know, in, insert, like, whatever country here, mm-hmm. um, for whatever culture that you are. Um, with Blade, you watched it, it was it was just, it was about a... Badass a, dude. A badass dude, a that badass hunted, dude that hunted vampires, that was also a half vampire himself, and it yeah. didn't never go any further than that. Yeah, so. never... At one point, it was like, oh, there's a black guy killing yeah. vampires. Yeah. Never, I never looked at that. Yeah. Ever and and think so, it was fun, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't bring notice to it either. Nobody says anything about like, oh, you know, oh yeah, this black vampire killed. No, no, they they never mention it. It's yeah. just Blade. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So um, and yeah, I guess yeah, I, I guess I hope, that's uh, I hope Black Panther's well. that way. Yeah, Spawn, Spawn. You know, was, I mean, was really Spawn. Good you didn't really know too. Like you, you, you didn't really know that. Um, was it was it Al Simmons? Is that his name? Yeah. yeah. Was, it, was it? Well, yeah, was it was a black guy um, until you saw like bits in his past where it actually showed you know 
who he was. Yeah. Um, because even when he took the mask off, you're like, okay, well. It was pretty relevant. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, his face was burnt off. It was still pretty so. dark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, well, yeah, but you just assume at that point it was like, you know, burn victim or something, but. Uh, <laughs> that was his title now. That was the, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Just, you, just you know? less. I mean, I guess we do need it. Yeah. Um, I, I guess society in general still, like, needs it, but do. less, less oh. of it would be... It, yeah, I, I you have to have a good variety of, like, yeah, the, the people go through these struggles, let's portray that, and also just regular people. Yeah. Yeah, I keep um, seeing posters like, oh, Black Panther, you know, the first, um, you know, the first black superhero to get his own movie. like, no, you forgot about Blade. Like, everybody did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's this, is, this is what we're talking about. No, like, yeah. The kids don't know today. It's just a tagline. I, well, yeah, very good point. Uh, yeah, you're right. And, and that's a good way of critically thinking yes. about it. And actually, it's a good way to stir up controversy because there are people yeah. that are like, mm -hmm. uh, no. <laughs> no and, and you're right. I mean, and that's we how the whole post thing started. Yes. It, um, yeah. But the thing with the, the Black Panther one, and it remains to be unseen, but. I, you know, they're all in Africa and everything, and, you know, I feel like they're getting othered as well in this movie. But if they make a sequel, I hope those characters are shown in environments that's not stereotypical. Yeah, like America or something. America or Russia <laughs> or something. They'll fight, you know, crime or evil, you know. Yeah, I'd like to see a Luke Cage um, series where <laughs> I, he's I a Luke Kang okay movie. No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Luke, Luke, uh, Luke Cage movie that's um, maybe not our lineup. So Luke, Luke Cage is kind of actually um, specific because he he is Harlem's hero. Yeah. So that, that that's that's kind of a yeah, bad example. Very stereotypical too. It is. It is. But you know. But but, but, but but true to the comics. Um, but yeah, something like yeah, Black Panther, which which is an Avenger. Mm -hmm. um, and he does come to America a lot. He does, you know, he is the king of Wakanda, like, mm -hmm. obviously. But and he does come to America. And I like to see him fight crime in some somewhere, like, or outside. fight bad guys. That, yeah, you know, not not in the African jungles. Yeah. Also, <laughs> don't point out, like, how many Hope people do you think will actually think Wakanda is a real country? They already do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of people yeah. in the Midwest. There's already there's already huh. big Twitter posts of people saying this is what this is what would happen if uh, the white people left us alone. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Alright. Hey, well, yo, did you know Wakanda's on the travel ban list? Oh my goodness. Oh no. Yes, yeah, that's just. Uh, yeah. It's stupid. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you literally have the internet. Just, just go and look. <laughs> but the, the internet make, makes people stupider. But <laughs> here, here's another thing I want to talk about. You know, the, the, it, it, there's this new trend of being stupid is cool. What? What? Oh, oh what, you mean like Napoleon Dynamite? Uh, <laughs> like Napoleon Dynamite culture? <laughs> no, like people just think like it's, it's. I don't like it either. I mean, look at all those look at all those fail army videos. Is Half of them, you know, fail army. The fuck's that? I don't think I watched it. Fail army. I. You guys never seen it? Where they explain it somehow? Please do. Yeah, oh my like, god. Now we're the stupid it's, people. It's, it's, it's basically like collection of videos of people just fucking up. It's like American Hunt with Funniest Home Videos. Just fail videos. Yeah, it's a bunch of yeah. fail videos, oh. right? And before it was actual real fail videos. Now it's just like, like over half of them were just like, okay, okay. Check this out. Yeah, check this out. It's like jackass. It's like, yeah. I'm going to film myself doing this. And you're intentionally you know, getting yourself hurt. Yeah. You know? And it's intentionally being stupid. You, know? you always gotta have the gestures. Pull my beer. And it's like, you know what? I'll be more impressed if you did that stand with your beer. Good ideas, man. Memes are funny and everything, but like, it's just so oversaturated. No, memes, <laughs> memes are memes are only funny for the first month. It's just the fact that uh, it's like the it's the most effortless way of doing humor. Yeah. Yeah, it is because it's just A B plus C and yes. this is like it's not even just yeah, like you, you find a picture and throw some words on it. Yeah, right? it's like, and that picture becomes this big old thing. Yeah, for a while. yeah, that's like man. Okay, cool. That's great. Give <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> something to think about. Uh, it's funny. Internet culture is weird. Ew. It is weird. And our generation is like it's the weird. last generation to grow up without the internet. They're all just yeah. weird. We're weird. Like you know, in comparison, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. It's like uncharted territory. What, the internet? 
No, n- nobody will ever culture, know anymore like, what it was like without it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the culture again. that hasn't it's experienced dies. life without internet, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think the, until they until face, the apocalypse happens, nobody will know. They face significant <laughs> dif- different things that nobody's ever Absolutely. Across, that uh, I don't know when will when they'll ever get comfortable with it. I, I agree. Uh, Myself included. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, uh, like, well, I think you being aware is, is more than enough to kind of change that, though, you know? I still fall prey to, like, the ideology of being um, sort of validated by things online because there is such a market for people nope, nope. starting their own businesses online and being recognized for, like, artwork or creativity online where yeah. it kind of becomes this weird area where, like, I don't know, it's just weird... To be well, existing in a place where you can find some form of success online mm-hmm. and you feel like that's what the majority of the people are doing. Yeah, and but it, not many of them are, not, not a lot of them are successful enough to pay the bills. But that's yeah. where the different thing, yeah. You, you know, when, you, when, you're best, you know, when you're making that much money, you're putting a lot of hard work into it. And there's other people that just, like that, that, that gal that, that killed her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. You guys didn't hear about that? I've heard Ooh. one, but I'm not sure. These, these Minnesota couple, same thing. Let's get YouTube famous. Let's get rich on YouTube. Like what we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, they did, they did stupid pranks just to get views right. And what this guy did was, I'm going to get a book that's an inch and a half thick. I'm going to put it on my chest like this. And girlfriend, what are you going to do? Let's film it. We got two cameras. You're going to shoot that gun, and this this book is going to take each bullet. Uh, <laughs> Pure idiots. No, that's okay, just that annoying. It's like, <laughs> Any better. Want to know what gun it was? Uh, please tell me. Oh, yeah, I don't think you think it makes a difference, but yeah. It, it made a huge difference. <laughs> there was, was a shotgun? It, it was a, really that It sturdy? was a golden desert eagle. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Why? Desert eagle is one of the biggest guns. <laughs> 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 So it, it was just exploded. Dude, if it was like a little bit, the <laughs> you know, book exploded. Dude. I'm sorry. Dude, this thing was trying to go through the guy, dude. Who is? But see, that's just plain idiocy. Hey, but that girl won because now they got like thirty thousand subscribers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, she, she's like, a who's she gonna kill next? Well, she's being a I think that puts an entirely the new perspective no, on no, like still that. Well, like, no, 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 they never posted the video. Oh, oh okay. the videos. That puts an entirely new perspective on Darwinism. Yeah, yeah, she, she got more than us. So we gotta kill some people, bro. Yeah, we gotta kill, kill people. people. Yeah, she got a hell of a subscriber, so I guess yeah. it's successful. The, yeah. It's just the emphasis oh, on like fame yeah. due to 15 minutes it's of just fame. weird. Yeah. And people don't realize, and, and kids out there don't realize that. It's yeah, fucking so hard work. That chocolate rain guy. Like, yeah. he had his 15 minutes of fame and now he's gone. <laughs> All these people fucking down. form support groups. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It's true. Star Wars There's kids, documentaries Numa, about the people that become this way famous. Grumpy yeah. cat. Yeah. Well, not, not grumpy cat. You get my point. Well, it, once the cat dies, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like... It, things it, don't it, go it, well. So it, the, the people that like, get that... Cool. The people... <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just funny. It's the people that, that, want, that don't want the 15 minutes of fame or the ones that end up getting I know! And the people that are looking for it, craving it, or yeah, like... Yeah. That, 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 that one meme with the, with the guy, the blonde guy, that has like that really dumb smile, and they always made fun of him. Oh, yeah. He's grown up now, and he can't outlive How that like, either. Everybody from, talks about see, it. See, and from such an obscure, <laughs> vague reference, like, you know, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's the one where it's like, you know, um, uh, played it safe, still got hit by a car. So I'm like, like those stupid memes where it said something dumb like that. <laughs> and now he's grown up and everything, but people are still like, oh my god, you're that guy. Oh, that's <laughs> so Do something dumb. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> you can never outlive your 15 minutes of fame either. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, the internet's a scary place. And then, uh, I don't know. It's just, like I said, it's hard work. I'm know? just I'm just glad I wasn't like a shot. I'm just glad it wasn't around so much when I was growing up. Yeah, I was glad I was born in 1982 Me too. and not in 2000. Oh, you were 1982. Oh, 1982. Okay. 82, yeah. 85. 92. You're the dragon. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I'm the monkey. Yeah, dragon eats the monkey. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> paper, scissors, rock. We're talking about our. Uh, Zodiac. <laughs> <laughs> My creature's so cool, it's not even allowed to exist. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got it, completely it, off topic yeah. a long time ago. Internet's a weird yeah. place. <laughs> it will Life always be a weird place. Life yeah. is strange. Life what? is strange. Uh, wait till uh, Eric can become a virtual reality. Oh, I don't want to. I can't. I get uh, sick immediately, so to yeah. speak. Yeah. You know what, though? What is the difference? A lot of us live on our phones. But, I mean, I but it actually be, like, if you were to just put on a VR or something like that and just play this. I get headaches. Yeah, I, would, I, I get most I of throw, I was rolling. <laughs> <laughs> you just be throwing them. I yeah. Fucking. Oh, 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 no, that's a weird topic. Mm -hmm. Oh, virtual reality is a weird topic. Yeah, we should probably say for the next show. No, yeah. no, but to it's be honest, though, that virtual reality shit, that's gonna actually happen because, uh, it's only a matter of time before... Uh, the Matrix. No, no, it's not even Matrix, it's actually integration to your actual bodies. It happened um, already! Because, I mean, there's already Google Glass, and that's like, right, kind of flopped because no one wants to pay that much money for bullshit. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, uh, the thing is, though, uh, there's an actual good, uh, that... Oh! Fuck, man, what the hell? Jesus. Speaking of VR, it got good. Uh, it got, I did it, it man. Got, it got to handle this one more time over here. Fuck. I hate this fucking dude. It's like the only guy that exists in this game that can just fucking one shot you all the time. Anyways, what are you saying? Uh, no, it's gonna be integrated soon, but like, there's one, there's a movie on YouTube. Nice. Uh, there's a uh, movie on YouTube, uh, or a series on YouTube. I think it's called like H Plus or some crap. Yeah, it was actually kind of cool because it was about a, it was about like a fictional story where uh, they, they, they have a, a new, uh, like an online OS that's uh, integrated into your actual iris or your, your back end ejected. So you have an overlay or an actual UI within your eyes. So you can see it and you can control your mind. So there's people literally just driving. It, man. There's people literally driving around with, uh, you know, just watching football games while they're driving. Oh and my like, God. yeah. But it's a whole story about. I mean, the whole idea that the of the, the the virtual reality like interface and stuff is kind of cool. Yeah. Too bad the show sucked itself because it just turned into like heroes. But. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the idea is like, man, that's fucking legit. I wouldn't mind that. Well, if that's anything, it should be happening. like holodecks, like Star Trek. Like, you know, the, the, you go into this room where yeah, it changes what it looks like and everything, but. Um, you're not literally injecting yourself with things in order to manipulate reality. Oh, but then yeah. it would just be like limited to like the. But we're getting close to that. Like how, how, how big the room yeah. was, or how big or small the room was, right? Huh? You'd be limited if it, if it was a holodeck. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we're talking about like futuristic tech that could probably figure that out. I, I don't know. We yeah. do things nowadays that nobody would have ever expected us to be able to do. Yeah. So there's already people having real. like fully functional sexual relationships with people just virtually because they started already building contraptions. Yeah, there Where you could yeah. essentially have like sex with people yeah, like, in a different already, uh, part of the world. It's a dildo. Yeah, they don't get a computer virus. Wait, dildonics is still a thing. <laughs> it's real. Huh. Dildonics. Dildonics. Wait, that's yeah. a that's not a word. Is, is it? Yeah, uh, I, I, I I've, I've, I've heard it before, but I didn't think it was still a term that people use. People are going to go totally virtual. Like, it's it's where... Well, yeah. they already have the, the kissing one, though. It's a long distance. They have more than kissing. What? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> they have much more than kissing. If it's a mouth, you yeah. do whatever you want with it. So, <laughs> it's like, it's an actual thing you put your mouth against. It actually reads it in 3D and then uh, morphs it on the other side. Yeah, they oh. have more than kissing, too. Kind of, yeah, I yeah. Saw, like, yeah, they got one. choking, too. Choke! <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Right, that, that, like the choking choke. where you choke your dad, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. But I think... Um, I do think it's possible. I, any, honestly, anything is possible. In, yeah. Like, just in the future. I mean, everything that we consider magic... Like, <laughs> let's say a thousand years ago, what they thought was magic was now just science or electronics or whatever else. So, who knows in a thousand years what... Even if we'll exist at that point, but like what the world would be like. Yeah. I just think it's funny that I wonder like if people are starting to realize that a lot of life is horrible and that's why they just want to escape. Yeah, I mean that's what everybody that's what's who, for. Everybody <laughs> who like wants to be in virtual reality most of the time, essentially they're just trying to escape the reality of their horrible, horrible life. Because well, I don't think life is work and bills and I, checks. I don't think they're strong enough to uh, live a happy life. Uh, not a lot of people are. Mm -mm. Well, but what does that even mean? Oh God, no! <laughs> no, 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 and buying more and 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 more 
materials does not make you happy. Yeah, it doesn't. It, you know, it, it's an addictive, uh, you know, consuming. It's like drugs. And because it gives you meaning. And it, it, it doesn't. Yeah. It's giving, it gives you short time, short term happiness. My phone sucks. I'm gonna get a new one next year, and then I'm gonna get a new one after that. It's just it's a like, distraction. It's a distraction, and people are working these jobs that they fucking hate yeah. just to mm -hmm. keep on buying this stuff and, well, and, and, to, and to compete to, with the next person who has a nice car or a new, you know, new phone. And it's like people are not living for themselves. No. It's like I told myself with kids, I myself wanted to get into comics. I wanted to my own comic book. And, and if I could live the way I'm living now or just have a little apartment like this and people just make comics, mm -hmm. I'll be happy. Yeah, I don't need anything. I'll take the bus everywhere. I don't need a car. Yeah. I don't need television. You know, and that's that's my happiness to be able to create something. Mm -hmm. Not not many people <coughs> can admit that to themselves, whether yeah. it's creating or whether it's doing something they love or or giving to people. You know, mm -hmm. so you know what I always fantasize about mm -hmm. like all the time because I like to write. I like to come up with stories. Yeah. And, like my ideal day is to wake up. You know, and just. You know, like you just sit down with an idea and maybe like have a coffee or whatever else and just be able to write. Not have this pressure of like, oh, well, you know, I've got like an hour and then i got to go to work for eight hours. And then hopefully I have enough energy after I get back in order to do something else. I want to be able to just... You'd be surprised how much you could write in 15 minutes. Yeah, but you, you can write in 15 minutes, but you have to. Write in but not for that. It's not, it's not good writing in 15 no, minutes. It's not. It's just like, schlocking up. Just write. It just writes. Yeah, but, like, get, but come yeah, on with the idea. Yeah, but, like, yeah. but I think what he's saying, he wants to have something, you know, he doesn't want to just write to practice. He wants to write to write something great. You know, he wants that, wants that no pressure. I mean, because you get, honestly, you can be built, you can write shit under pressure, but it's like, dude, you're just writing to write. It's like, what's no, there's no creativity. In well, that, yeah. that, that's more of a warm up. I'm not saying, like, to just get up and then write anything and then that's your masterpiece. Well, what's, what's great about. Well, I mean, you know, Stephen King does that shit. What's great about a job of working, you know, at the moment oh, is that while you, you know, you may not like it, I don't know if you like your job or not, but. Nope. To me, not like <laughs> it, it might be monotonous, nope. but dude, it's like. Aren't, aren't you thinking about what you want to write when you're doing that song? For example, like I, I believe Albert Einstein even himself took a monotonous job, and while he did the monotonous job, that's where most of his ideas came from. Yeah. Because his his mind was focused on something else, but the back of his he mind was, was always creating. Yeah, his un, his subconscious mind was yeah. uh, well, concentrating on the thing that he really wanted to be doing. And like, I have the time at work, luckily, to, to take some time to write, and everything mm -hmm. is because well. My job is kind of lax, mm -hmm. but and I'm in a position where I'm able to do that and not like have to worry about if I'm going to get fired for it or something. Yeah. But I just I just take the time it's and I start freedom. writing stuff, mm -hmm. and you know that that's nice. But at the same time, you know I'm also committing you know eight hours a day, you know nine days of, or nine days, Jesus, five days a no, week it's hard. Uh, to this place as well. You know, I'm like, I have to get up at a certain hour every day, go and do this, come home, be exhausted because... Mentally you know, exhausted too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so if I write at work, okay, cool, you know, I have to be here, um, but I can make something good out of it. Whereas if I go home, like, well, I only have a certain amount of hours before I have to go to bed and prepare for the next day. What yeah. do I want to do with that short amount of time? But, but that's, that's, where it, that's where it becomes a hard work. And, and really difficult thing to do, and if you give it buying time and force yourself to do it, you're already one step above, several steps above another person who just gave up. Yeah. This far. And, yeah. and, and, and like you said, if it if it was easy and everybody could write great stories, and it sounds so cliche, but everybody will be doing it, but they don't because they fall into the trap of being tired. I'll, I would almost even say that uh, something I've just embraced recently was that part of the like the passion that comes from pursuing something creative like that when you do have to have a day job is that you get the drive from the fact that you don't like your day job that much yeah. and that pushes you to be like dude i need to just fucking do whatever i need to do outside of this yeah. and feel like that means something because this means nothing to me and i need the house yeah or a place it, to live. it, it, yeah. it kind of yeah. makes like it for me it makes that thing uh, it, it makes that particular you know moment of creativity even more special. Yeah. Um, it makes yes. me look forward to it more too. Like it, you know, like if I was just unemployed and you know like writing and drawing all the time, mm -hmm. I don't think that I would. I, I can't do it. I'm, I'm, um, mm -hmm. Right now, I, I I have a little small job, mm -hmm. but I you're right. I can't do it. I, yeah. I'm sitting at mm -hmm. home. 
all right, let's do it. And it's really hard to get those juices going. Yeah. I, need yeah. my, I need to be you know, focused on something else. That it allows you to value value your time that mm -hmm. much more because you know that you don't have much of it. Yeah. Yeah. And so when you're actually sitting down and you know, you, knowing you, you only have limited time to do certain things, um, it, it allows that creativity in that small condensed time to come out more natural mm -hmm. instead of just sitting down looking at a blank screen for eight hours I'm just gonna you know you know look at the screen and just gonna type up something mm -hmm. because yeah. that's when it starts to feel more mechanical and more forced and there's always those instances of people more often than not that go into the field of their dreams and end up feeling like oh shit I was doing the thing that I loved and now I have to like get paid for it and it kind of lost its that's how, that's how uh, I feel sometimes too, it's like, you know, it becomes work and then all of a sudden, you know, the, the fun goes away. Yeah. And that's why a lot of writers always say, oh, I fucking hate deadlines, because... It's hard. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, I don't know, maybe I had an epiphany or something, but when, um, one of the reasons why I push myself to, to draw better now and, and do comics mm -hmm. Is that I, I realize I don't want to be eight years old and say I never tried. Yeah, yeah. me too. That's that's gonna be the saddest moment of my life. Well, nobody does. Yes. No one wants to look back on their life and regret. Yeah, but they, 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 it happens. Though. People yeah. still do it. Yeah. 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 And the, the, I think the majority of the thing is that just, if you're not giving up, then you're living a life that's important. Yeah, party hard and leave a sexy corpse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to quote yeah. the author. <laughs> 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 no, man, but, but if you like writing, dude, I look at it as a, a stress relief. You know? And it sounds like you like doing it at work. Yeah. Because it takes your mind off of work. Yeah. And so. see, my best ideas have always come either like in school when I wasn't supposed to be drawing or at work right now because yeah. yeah. I have the liberty to draw occasionally it, when I'm not supposed to be doing it. It's the best. Yeah. Same thing. When I'm on campus as well, I, I, I'm always like, oh, I want to do this. I'm coming up with all, I'm boiling up all my good ideas, but now that I'm you know, in between semesters and uh -huh. you know, for summer, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> it's like you gotta write it down. It's like, yeah. You, you do. Yeah, you just, you know, the thing is you have to be busy. You have to always be productive. And mm -hmm. you know, that's one thing I realized is like, at, at, even doing this recording, this channel, and, and you know, writing and doing art myself, you realize there's not many creative people in the world. <laughs> Not the, that many that were so that, yeah, especially to the, the amount of people oh, yeah. out there. Those that put themselves out there. The yeah. normal people. Mm -hmm. There's not many creative people in the world. And I slowly realized that because I'm really hard on, my, on myself as an as a artist, I guess you say, or when I draw. Yeah. But when I do something and I'm like, oh, well, that's not my best work. But I show it to other people, it's like, oh my God, that's so fucking awesome. You know, yeah. or they'll say this and that. And it's just like, you realize, oh, maybe we say that because I'm not talented. And because they can't see what image you have in your head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but that's where I realized, it's like, well, you know, you know even if you feel like you're creative, mm -hmm. pursue it, you know. There's not people, you know, there's not enough creators out there. And there's not enough of them that just pretty much place value on the fact that you do it, rather than gaining monetary benefits from it. You can, you know, like, oh, why don't you do that for a profession? It's like, well, not, it doesn't always have to be a profession. It doesn't. Yeah. It's just, like, you always hear, I always hate hearing about, like, the older people, like, oh, yeah, I stopped drawing or painting this many years ago, and no, I just never go back to it. That's just always the most exactly. depressing thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I don't want to be that statistic, you know, I don't Me want neither. to be that depressing thing. And that's the other thing, that's just, like, I even told myself, it's like, well, maybe, you know, I do a comedy, it's not going to support me. Uh, you know, I'm out, I'd rather have a full-time job and still be able to do this comic mm -hmm. on my own, whether it makes a dollar or not, you know, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Right? As you long as, I, I told this to my other co-workers back in the border, is like, I don't, I don't care if it makes me, you know, I'll be happy if people just read it. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And so that's okay, that's great, you know, at least people took the time to observe it, you know? At least they have an opinion about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. So, huh? And the other thing though is um, I realize that um, uh, there's not many original creators out there either because if you go like especially with deviant art, yeah. everything is fucking fan, fan art. art. Yeah. I was and talking I, about that recently. Yeah, it really upsets me. It, it really upsets me so much 
Why? Like, no, they, don't get me wrong. They, they're, yeah. I, I'm glad that they're God drawing. Uh, I'm glad that they're drawing. I'm glad that they're exercising their talents and, and they're making other people happy drawing those characters like Spider Man or anime mm-hmm. characters. Mm-hmm. But, dude, given that, push yourself. You harder. respect them a little bit less. You know, because you know, it's cheap. Expect more out of yourself. Don't just be. The, the reason why anime looks the way it is, it's a cheap way of drawing. They have to do that so that the cheap labor could easily do it over and over and over. They don't do that because it's an art style or it's stuff like that, you know? It's, it's a product of a, it's a, 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 you know how they say form follows a, a function? Mm-hmm. It, it, it's, a, it's a form of function, you know? So. My high school art teacher didn't respect anime art. Any, if, if you want any of a college campus, when they ask you, like, especially when you're drawing or painting, they'll tell you, don't do any anime stuff. I think a lot of anime, though, is more based on the story. I've it's, just felt so emotionally yeah. connected to yeah, so it's a much anime. Yeah, it's, it's like, a, like a manga, you know, or, 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 or yeah, you're right, it's a story. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, it's just like, they even tell you, it's like, if you have anime or manga in your portfolio, forget they about it. They don't, yeah. don't, they even don't turn care it about you. Unless you're going to go for like a manga house, right? Mm-hmm. But then it's just a, a, it shows that you can draw that way, but it doesn't show your talents. Yeah. And I wish kids would push themselves more than that. And, you know, I, and on campus, I would see people's uh, laptops open, and they'll have the old manga style stuff like that. And I told them, don't get discouraged, you know? Even though they, they're beautifully colored and everything like that, it's like, that's that's a that's, as far as they're willing to go. They don't want to push it f- further. Yeah. And I know I want to push myself further than that. So I don't know. It's just fan art. I mean, I have uh, my own issue with that. It's just it's the school of guys are drawing right, but it like, gets the most likes. It's, it gets the most it's likes, like but it cheapens you, man. Yeah, that's why I mean that. So you, you become you a are. sellout. So yeah. It, thank you, Louis. It's not who you are. It's on what somebody else. There's fucking two of them. I don't even understand how you're still. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand this. Like, really, at this point, it's like you just. Impossible. Basically, you are down to your last few bullets every time, and <laughs> you have to beat them off with your fists. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah, he has to beat them off. Die. Yeah. No, I was gonna, I wasn't gonna say anything. No, we're all not hopeful. <laughs> well, the problem is that. need to be supportive. <laughs> Well, you gotta consider too. There's two archviles there, and uh, you can't kill. The only way you can avoid them is by line of sight. So, yeah. uh, explain to the mill- millennials what an archviral is. They can look it up themselves. So, pretty <laughs> much <laughs> <all> the <together, laughs> yeah. Either way, it's the fact that you know, you're starting with a pistol in a fucking place, literally calling everything two archviles. Yeah. Kind of. The whole idea here is trying to get them all to fight each other, and that's why I'm trying to wait to them to move over. But you got this motherfucker right here just walking around, with his arms. resurrecting everybody. By the way, too. <laughs> what a dick! Trying to be fucking helpful <laughs> to his own people. Yeah, he just took it there, man. Yeah, that's you one hit. I, dude, I'd rather have him dead. Damn. See, this is why this game is really good because uh, fucking this shit is literally hell on earth. You can't really, they don't fuck <laughs> around with you anymore. Challenging. No, Hell on Earth is like a game like Postal. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, um... Well, hopefully Daniel uh, will be able to pass this at some point. Um, I'm not here fire, for your amusement. Even though the fire is following you. <laughs> yeah, because everything's against her right now. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get that. Yeah. yeah. Um. So let us know in the comments about uh, the ES- ES- ESRB ratings and uh, well, I don't know whether you think that up. it's you know the existential crises that is everybody's <laughs> yeah. life that we. <laughs> yeah. And if you have an existential crisis about your nerd, please let us know. Yeah. If if, if there's a support group out there for you, especially if you're an artist, we're called big for it. Especially if you're an artist. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, if you're right, an artist. Yeah. It, it, if you're just listening to listen, we'd love to hear from you. Um, what are your thoughts? I mean, is this is this something that's been brought up before? Do you want to hear more of it? Um, yeah, anything. Just anything. Hey, so even if we don't really are that good, please let us know. Yeah, just any <laughs> feedback is is always good. Um, but as always, this is uh, MC Lewis. 
I'm uh, Juan Connor Omero. And, and Daniel's playing Doom. Daniel's <laughs> playing Doom. <laughs> Concentrating uh, very hard. And yeah. This is also. And then we, you know, we have Alan. Good to be here. Yeah, and Roxanne. And Roxanne. And you'll 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 hear from them in the future. Yeah. And tell if us you, what you think about our guests too. Uh, you, want, them you want more? You want more girls on the on this channel? Because uh, we could probably work on that. Yeah. No, not, totally. not, 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 not like you know more opinions from girls. Not. Not necessarily um, the sexual. I think that's. I think that is the exact comment that you need to realize that you do need more girls. On yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it can't just be a science fest all the time. So. Anyway, guys, what we're vaporware. Yes. Not not bait nation vaporware. No bait nation. Yeah. Look it up on Wikipedia if you know where it is. I think we already said that before. Yeah, we did. There we go. Anyways, we're signing out. Signing out. Thank See you guys. Bye.